Hello? Hello? Hi, here we are back at the um, Champion of Champions for the Sunshine Coast District, um, round two. So we have Kawana, who won their first round 21 12, against Headland Pacific, who won their game 18 14. So we have the teams of Kawana is Nolene Witten, Debbie Dallison, Brenda Bolchen, and Linda Brownen. Brownen. Um, for Headlands, we have Anita Hobbs, Robin Wallish, Troy Lifton, and Patricia Smith. So the Kiwana girls, they won the map, and Nola Witten, the lead. She's got a lovely touch of that. She has. The boys are just working out the cameras at the moment, yeah, so just bear with them for a minute. Bit of trouble at the other end. Debbie Delliston on the mat. Oh, that's better. So, Kawana have two shots at the moment. Good line, Deb, just a little bit short. Something to correct on, though. Yes, so. The ladies played on the second green and then swapped across to the front green now. and. Uh, Playing north south. Uh, they then played east west earlier. Deb with her second bowl. It's on a good track. She gets behind. Linda will be happy. Yeah, that covers well. Splits up the other two bowls. So any movement back is good. So we've got Alan Zanacock sitting here with me for this game. Alan is chairman of the district selectors group. So you're a busy man at the moment, Al. Yeah, yeah, we've got our <laughs> district single, uh, district sides coming up soon. So we have. We've both been working pretty hard in that. A few training <laughs> sessions and getting organised. But it's good to see a lot of the clubs coming down today. You should see the deck. It's absolutely full of spectators. So again, the ladies have come off the other green, so we just got to work out. And the wind will be going across them a little bit more, coming probably coming from the southwest, coming across. This is Joy from. Headland, she's just cut her line a little bit. Her weight probably wasn't too bad. Yeah. It'll just take these girls a few ends to settle into it. Brenda Bolton on the mat. Brenda is now a member of Kiwana after her and her husband relocating back to the Sunshine Coast. Yeah, a little bit heavy there, but that worked out well. So. We've got two shots now. After all the rain we've had over the past few days, it's um yes, we commentated this morning about um, how good the greens are running. Yes, uh, Lake, the greenkeeper at Kiwana, he's done a great job because it hasn't been easy with all this rain. No, Wayne Natter and myself played this morning, and yeah, it was. There's our lovely man, Cole Bell. Who happens to be the father of Debbie Dalliston. Yes. So he'll be here to support his daughter. Yes.
So Kiwana girls are holding a couple of shots here at yes, the moment. Probably two shots. So yeah, one of Nolan's, Nola's and one of Brenda's. Yes, oh, that's going to go close to being another shot. Yeah, she's probably about, Linda's probably about a bowl in front, but it probably counts. Pat's not far away no, here. Yeah, it's going to be a good bowl here. Has she got the legs? Yeah, I think she, she has. has. Oh, Maybe a bit too much. Just run through a little bit. Linda will be just trying to come inside her own, promote mm. Nola. Give it a tap. Oh, looks like she's just about to do that or just around. That'll be a good cover oh. bowl if they do trail it. It's come to a good home. Mm. Yeah, the grass is pretty good here. It's just going to get them back to the weight. Kind of just dropped a weight off, actually. Mm. Only just. Oh, good effort. Might. There they are. The ladies are using their hat to put the bowls on so they don't get confused. You've got to watch out for the sneaky people and sort of roll a bowl around the back and then try to measure it again. <laughs> Three shots to Kiwana. <laughs> oh, nice. Well done. Got some good matchups in the other games too, Al. Yes. So we've got uh, Tawantan Noosa against Wombai, Palmwoods against Club Marucci, and Glasshouse against the Waves. Um, over in the men, so uh, Glasshouse won their first game 28-10 over, uh, so they won their first game. Uh, Coolum beat Budrum 26-11. Uh, Yandina got through against the Waves Caloundra, 21-14. Uh, Palmwoods beat Wombai 27-13. Pelican Waters oh. beat Club Marucci 2018. And Noosa Tawantan 28 beat Malula Bar 15. So presently on the other green, we've got Glasshouse playing Coolum. Uh, Yandina against Kawana. Palmwoods against Pelican Waters. And Tawantan Noosa against Nambul. Anita Hobbs from Headland has got a nice bowl there, Jack High. Yeah, That's a good there. reply, Nola. Got the shot. Anita had good weight. Yeah, she's oh, just under. Come to a good home. No damage. And one behind. <laughs> Debbie just a little bit over, just covering over in that area. Headland, Headland's ladies told me they're nothing but social bowlers, but they performed well this morning. So to get this far, they need to be congratulated. And they've just drawn another shot. Nice bowl there from Robin. Debbie's having a bit of a look at it now. Um, I think she might get the inside edge and sit for shot. That was a lovely bowl. Deb's using S SRVs. Pat, 
Pat just trying to wiggle that bowl in a little bit tighter. Good weight. No short bowls in this on this end, Al. No, no, that's wrong. You can't get hit off if you're not short. That's, that's correct. <laughs> oh, just as you mentioned. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Yes. Yeah, Joy just a little bit short there. Oh no, that was Brenda. So it looks like Brenda's come in as a sub. Not sure who was missing. From she has. Room. She's come in for Aileen Duckett. I'm sure Aileen Duckett will be watching this from Tasmania. Oh, here's a good bowl here. Oh, oh yeah, I think she. Probably one to the headland ladies, yeah, I think. I think. It's pushed it across to Robin's yeah, bowl. Yeah, I there. think so. It's close. Yeah. Leaves it track high, though. Yeah. <laughs> If she can sit on that or just drag it and drag the jack a little bit, she'll have two shots. It's not going to be short on this one. No. Oh, if you've got a piece, that might make it two down. I'm not sure. Yeah, she's a little bit unlucky there. Yeah, just got the wrong side. She gave it a chance. Troy's not down too bad here. She sits on that back pile, she'll be good. Oh, she might just go through the gap. Still a good pile still, where if it still ends pretty up. handy there. Any any movement is probably going to go that way. So I'd say uh, Headlands are holding two shots there. Linda's having a bit of a discussion, she's trying to decide what she's going to do here. Yes, after the weather reports, this has turned out to be a lovely day here. It's, you know, it's quite warm out there this morning. A little bit humid. Yeah. It was a good effort from Linda. Yeah, ended up track level. She's got the inside edge a little bit, would have been good. That's down pretty well again by the looks of it here. Yeah, just a little Lovely line. Maybe just a touch short. Oh, I really think um, Headland's still holding two. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Well, this might... Unless Linda has something to say yeah, about it. Well, she sits a back bowl, goes through the gap. Unfortunately. Good effort. Played that at a good pace. That only needs another six inches to make, yeah. it, to make it count. This has had two good, two good efforts. She's just going to drop forward again. Mm. Mm. Has she knocked it up far enough? Only no, two. Just a two. So that keeps it pretty even. Three, two after two ends. Now you're leaving off. Has she just gone past where the skip one is? So she's going to um, beyond the three quarter, getting close to the full full length end. I wanted to have some. You'll be on Facebook. I wanted to have some. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it's pretty good weight. He's just cut across the head a little bit, though. There is a breeze coming across, going the other way there, but... Can be a little bit fluky at times. Gets a bit stronger, a few gusts. Yeah, we're just having a bit of trouble with that that end. We'll just cut back to that one while we have a look. You'll probably see Wayne run through in the the background in a minute. It's trying to shift that lifter out of the road. Yeah, I think the screen's a bit frozen though too. Kim was having a bit of trouble with that one. Well, I think she's a, about a metre short there, so. And a lovely line. I think Anita's first ball still shot. This one should be very close. Oh no, she's pulling up too. They're circling the wagons around it. I don't think Debbie's going to be short. Uh, Debbie's on a pretty good track here. Always very handy to be just behind. Good seconds ball. Robin's gone through a little bit there too. Well, if Debbie picks this up again, oh, same bowl. Just sitting there waiting for the, the little trail. Edlin's still holding one shot. Plenty of room to get in there. Well, it looks like Linda's probably saying two down there. Struggling with the weight, it's just it's getting humid, so a little bit of the it is a bit of moisture is probably coming up. So just changes the speed a little bit. And if she gets around that front, oh no, she's just gonna fall short. There's Linda just standing there, giving Brenda a foot to bowl to. Sometimes some players find it easier to bowl to a foot. I think and it might have worked. I think so. And probably that'll be the shot. I'd say that'll be very close to shot. Still a couple of feet away, but... I just have to thank uh, Kawana. This is a, the greens are great. Um, everyone's had their lunch and come back out. It's been there's a big crowd here, yeah, yeah, so. and a lot of the players from the games this morning that got knocked out, they've hung around to cheer everyone on. So yes, it's uh, good with.
being in a combined district now, we've got both the um, both the men's and ladies playing at the same time, so it's quite a good spectacle. And, and it is, and people can support both teams at the same time. On the other green, I can see one of our ladies. Oh, yes. Oh, Linda's not happy with that one. Getting a bit of a fence built up there, so you're going to try and find your way through, I think. Toucher as well. Oh, what a lovely bowl. Yeah, Pat. Lovely bowl there, Pat. Got a few few claps. Just telling people to not get too excited. When Linda puts that arm up, you know she doesn't like yeah. it. I think she had good weight, just a little bit wide. A little bit wide. Yes, I think that makes it... Um, Three all. Three all. Three all. Three all. <laughs> yep, so after three ends, it should be three all. Yeah, just a lovely wait here again by Anita. Just trying to judge that wind, but uh, you sort of come down this way, you get get a bit of cover from the clubhouse, so it sort of probably turns a bit more. This looks a nice bowl from Nola. Oh, just on the wrong side of it. Yeah. Again, well weighted. It's good to see him. most of them giving him bowls a chance. It must be a little bit uphill down here. <laughs> they struggle to get to it at the other end. Can always happen. A little bit of breeze in front of you or behind you. Like you said, the Australian It's not that Nola changed hands, just pulling up a little bit short. You noticed that this morning, like uh, one of the hands seemed to be a little bit heavier than the other. Was it? Yeah. We sort of pushed into the wind a bit. Well, we're going across, across the green then. Debbie, just a little bit weighty on that one. Oh, this is, looks like it's coming in nicely. And that's a nice yeah, ball from ball Robin. Robin. Yeah, lovely ball. Correction better, from yeah, Debbie. Better, better one here from Debbie. Oh, lovely bowl. And a touch. Yeah, lovely bowl, Debbie. Lovely bowl, Debbie. 
I reckon Cole will be clapping that one wherever he is. I can see him. He's got a big grin on his <laughs> face. I don't think he bowls that much anymore, but he was a, yeah, he used to play a lot at Malula Bar. Cole? Yeah, I believe so. Lovely man. Yeah. He is a lovely man. And Deb. Deb's a lovely girl. Well, she's, yeah, she's been at uh, Kiwana for a fair while now. I play a lot of bowls with Deb, actually. She's, uh... Brenda Bolsham on the mat now. Oh, might be just a, a little bit underdone. She had a per good line to get through there. Yeah, like earlier, like a lot of the... Have had a lot of rain, so you just got to put a little bit on it. Probably running about the 14 second, I'd say. 14, 14 and a half. Well, you think it was that quick? Oh, it was... Started off probably 13, but then yeah, like with, okay. with the heat coming off the okay. green and it's, it's drawing a lot of water out there, like it's pretty humid out on the green. Kwana still holding with Deb's bowl just at the back of the jack. An excellent bowl by Joy to get one in the head there. Brenda's pretty good here too. Oh, pushed it through. She might have been just a little bit unlucky there. Had a beautiful way that she sat the bowl. She just put the jack instead. Well, Linda's got her finger yeah, up, yeah. and so is Pat. <laughs> I'd really favour the, the Kiwana Bowl, the, the yellow. But it should be very close. Yeah, I didn't... It'll be an interesting sort of shot for Pat to play. Mark Payne, he's asked the question, who won the game this morning between Pelican Waters and Club Barucci? Pelican Waters got up on the last end. It was a really good game. That was the one we live streamed this morning. Yes. Um, I think Marucci were holding one, were up one shot and then they lost three they on the were. last end. They were. Good to hear from Mark. They've got the um, Club Marucci has got a $20,000 boys tournament on next weekend. Yes. I'll pipe in here and say that we're going to try and bring the cameras to that event as well. Oh, that was a great oh. bowl there by, by, by Pat. Pat. Yeah. I think she's rolled her bowl over. For a shot. For shot. Yeah. Linda can do the same. Yeah, if you get onto the... Get on to Brenda's, Brenda's bowl, on to Deb. And, yeah, not Deb. And she's not too far away. She's pointed pretty well. Oh, oh unlucky. A little, little wick. Didn't need the front one. No. She... That's Wayne we're talking to now. Hello, Wayne Netter here. Thank you, Faye Whitaker and Alan Sandico. You're doing a great job. I won't interrupt. <laughs> I'll, um, I might even... I haven't had lunch or a drink, so... I might just take off for a minute. Wayne's done a great job with the live streaming. Yes. And he had to bowl this morning, so that kept him pretty busy. He's probably thirsty. <laughs> he, he ran out there to have his warm-up and I had to tell him, you have to put your, your club shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> and he had to find his car keys. And <laughs> He's a man of many talents. Yes, so we're, Wayne will be live streaming um, the Marucci Classic, so that will be next weekend. 
They'll be playing Saturday and Sunday. They'll have their um, they'll have a Calcutta on the Friday night. So, uh, should be good. I think they've they were just looking for one more team there. As one team had to pull out, but I think they got three three four greens, which is a wonderful effort. Yeah, well done to Club Marucci. No mean feat to yes. to play, have a tournament like that. And their greens are running pretty good too. Wonder Headland. Wonder Headland. So Headland just make their way in front. Yes, we've got Richard Scott and his crew there at um, Club Marucci. They do a wonderful job on the greens there as well. So if you're ever coming up to the Sunshine Coast Districts, there's some, a, a great variety of clubs. Most of them are probably half of them, or well, a bit over half, are, are grass greens. Most of them are running very well. There's um, a friend of mine, uh, Red Dog. I like him. <laughs> Headland girls have gone a little bit longer this time. Yeah, really st stretching it out a bit. Probably playing the Kiwana girls at their own game. So he's still having a bit of trouble with that. Just with our bottom, bottom green. No, no, no. Yeah, just got a bit of a frozen camera down the other end, so. Just can't quite see it, but Nola Witten's got one just on the jack. Yep. Still having a little bit of trouble with that camera up the other end. It just wants to play its own little game. Oh, we've got a little bit of it. Alan, I might go run around and yeah, get some scores score for, you, for you, and I'm going to hand over the microphone to Ray. No worries. My husband. You can ask Ray, him about his um, game. Yeah. <laughs> so Ray's um, one of the male selectors on the team for the Sunshine Coast District. So he has the, the job of working with me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we, we enjoy working together. We were at, I've just been down watching one of the men's games and the guys that knocked us over this morning, the uh, Yandina guys, yeah. they um, they picked up a seven on Kiwana on the very first in, so they're in the box seat. Oh, jeez, so well, yeah. at the moment, when, when it's hard to get shots, so. And, um, yeah, well, Kiwana's team skipped by Kurt Brown, so. I, think... I don't think he often gives away a seven. <laughs> No, no, but I think it, I mean the score is nine-one at the moment, so yeah. Yeah, it's uh, interesting game for there. A lot of ends to go. Yeah, certainly gives them a a boost. And the, the Coolum guys over there, I was watching a bit of their game, and they've, they've got off to a good start. They're um, four, four nil up after three ends. Yeah, they're um, playing the Glasshouse boys. Glasshouse boys are looking all right. Playing uh, Malcolmson and a couple of young juniors there. There's, um, I know there's Zach Flood and his brother. Yeah, well, we'll um, certainly be keeping, quite... a, keeping an eye on those yes, kids because yeah. uh, they're the type of kids we need in the district. Yes, um, and Glasshouse has got a great lot of lot of juniors there. And call out to Bill Tunbridge. He does a wonderful job there with them. Oh, yep, I think you... there's a um, junior pairs on at uh, Salander Lakes. There is this, uh, and this weekend. This yes. weekend, yeah. And yeah, so the boys Good are lucky to, all the, unlucky to be here, probably. Yeah. Good luck to all the juniors out there. Yeah, Bill does a great job in our district to get our juniors to 
to go to tournaments everywhere. So back to the game we're live streaming here. That's uh, Nola's bowl on. Yep. I'm not sure whether yeah, they got. Uh, Brenda's just a little bit short. Yep, she needed to grow another leg there. I found time. that quite a lot of times this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you'd bowl a good bowl and suddenly they pull yeah. up real quick. Well, that's what happens to you, carpet bowls. You, you expect it to be the same all the time, don't you? Yeah, you know how much carpet bowls I play on. <laughs> Yeah, plenty of room to get in another one in there. Well, that's what that's Brenda got the length this time. She might yeah, she there. might get a lucky rub well, here. She, she might, might be stay just in a the little head. bit too. Yeah, all good staying yeah, there. Yeah, she's run to the other corner bowl and stayed in the head, so. Yep, okay. Shot in third, that's always good. Any little trail on that? You're in a great spot to pick it up. Oh, well, we'll get that down to the final four tonight. Yeah. For the semi-finals in the morning. Hopefully the weather holds out. That would be good. Right, now we've got some updated scores here by my lovely wife. Uh, in the men. Uh, Kulma 4-1 up over Glasshouse. Yandina 9-1 up over Kiwana. And the Palmwoods crew 5-1 uh, up over Pelican Waters. The other game, to Wanton, out to a bit of a flyer too, and they're 8-2 up over Nambour. Yeah, In the sure. ladies, over here, well, we know the um, score of the game live stream, but um, to Wanton and Mumbai, a bit of a tussle over there. 7-6 six, six to Wanton. Uh, the Palmwoods game, Palmwoods Maruchidor. Maruchidor are 7 2 up on Palmwoods. And the Glasshouse Caloundra game, Caloundra are 4 2 up on Glasshouse. And we're all about four ends in, five yeah. ends maybe. Oh. It's a fair draw by Linda up there, up the inside. Oh. Yeah, that'll make it two shots. Probably only about a foot short. So everyone's still just trying to work out the greens. Um, some of these teams had buys this morning, so they're probably just trying to to wrap their head around some of the games. So again, uh, Kawana had to buy this morning, so they're just getting out there now in the men's and same with Nambour. Um, in the ladies, Wombai and Marucci and the Waves had buys this morning. They're just sort of feeling their way through where most of the other teams have had a game already. Linda's played the dead draw, draw and pulled up four foot short without any causing any trouble, but that's the way it happens on this screen today. It's just very hard work. Mm. No fault of the greenkeeper. He's done a pretty good job getting it up. No, no. And, uh, yeah, you can't just have this uh, rain day in, day out and expect to have brilliant greens. Oh, I think they're still running quite nicely. You just, yeah, just mentally, you just got to. You've got to bowl to this, bowl, bowl to, the, to, this, bowl look, to the situation. Look to trail at a couple of feet, and no, four feet. Yeah, well, well, a <laughs> few feet. Yeah. Anyhow, Nola, not renowned for being a long end bowler, but she keeps putting yeah, up there, and she's putting the long end in to take it up to the opposition here. Yeah. But I don't think we've had a short end yet, so it'd be interesting to see if anyone goes that way. Coming down, she's just a little bit under. Nola's probably got the shot, but she's 
good half a metre away. It's probably got a bit of weight this time. Yeah, a bit of weight. Under that one, and yeah, nice yep. pile there. Yep, right in front, that's going to be a hard bowl to beat this in. Sitting about a foot in front. It's made a need a change of hand, anyways. She could be in a good area here. Just a bit short of the money. I had the line. Yeah, you just definitely got to be a little bit positive. Um, yeah, Peter, Peter Johnson there, um, come to give us a bit of advice on um, how to call this game, and <laughs> he's also our drink waiter. So Debbie's put her first bowl in the count, and she's coming down with reasonable weight here. Maybe might get into the count again. Just, yeah, might have, might, just, might, just, might yep. just put enough petrol in the tank that time. Yeah. So I think they've definitely got two, and then there's a two. Two in a measure, and, yeah. And two are in a measure, I think. Well, this could be helpful. Yeah, Split just, the gap, and yeah, well, that's, that's probably second better. shot. Second shot. Debbie's bowl only needs a little tap and it'll be running there enough on its running surface. Right, oh, no, Brenda, show us what you're made of. Mm. You can afford to be a little she's, bit. She's here and that's well advised. Bit of meat on Debbie here and we're good. Yep. Yep, she's good. Yep, round up to yep. the shot bowl and there we go for two different shots. Brenda's happy with that one. Yep, and made the, yeah, made the shot bowl a lot better yep. too. Give herself a chance. It's going to be very hard to beat that one. Got the weight, got the line. It's very close to second shot, maybe not, but makes it very hard for, uh, for the Kiwana girls to get a third shot here now. See over on the other rink there, it's Yandina are still doing pretty well. They're 11 4 up over Kawana on the mat. And Kulin are still five, they're 5 1 up over there, over Glasshouse. And yeah, Tawatna increasing their lead, they're 12 2 over Nambour. Larry Haynes is asking about Pelican. Pelican, men's or ladies? Mm. Pelican is, I'm not sure, it's 5 4. So that must be, yeah. I'd say they're, they're making their way well, back. They're, five, already, four. Yeah, they're already 4 Palmwood, so Pelican have um, got back to 4. Got back so to four, so they've, started the come, they've started to come back early this game. Yeah. You just hit it around the green, didn't you? A little bit, yeah. Yep. A couple more ends have gone. And the ladies is Marucci are increasing their lead on Palmwoods. That's uh, they're up to ten two. And Glasshouse Calandra, I think that's three four now. Got right, a bit of concentrate on this game here. Uh, um, mm. We've still got two shots. There's still two shots, but um, it's very cluttered in front. Mm. You pick the line, you'll go well. You run into the front and you'll probably stop. 
Yeah, good ball here, I think. It is a good ball, Linda. Through the hole. Very good oh, ball. Lovely yeah. ball. What a great ball. They say holes are made for bowls. That's the best way to do nah, it. Nah, that wasn't a hole made for bowls. <laughs> that was a great draw. Oh, well, that's a thing, yeah. Just enough room to get through. That's lovely. Yep. Righto. A bit of weight on the forehand here. Yeah. Well, it's hard to get back. It's not going to get down, right? Gibson one behind anyway. Another one behind. Here comes Linda. So that was Pat. Pat Smith. Oh, through the hole again. Oh, got another one. That's probably four to Kawana now. And so Pat needs to probably keep that keep that weight on the forehand here, but just tighten up a bit and probably another could, yard to, to make yeah, it. Get onto that orange bar, I'd reckon. Because yeah. yeah, already have one there, so there's not much else going on for her. Looks like she's got the weight again, it's all on the line. Yeah, she's going to duck a little bit, but whether she's just smacked yeah. something on the way. Something there to run into. Oh, she smacked the wrong bowl. Let's show the Kiwana bowl up. It's still only four, though, mate. Four. Yep, I could. Four to Kiwana. Four to Kiwana. Six then? Yes, it's a little blowout on the sixth end, but there's plenty of ends to get the oh, same yeah. blowout back in this kind of conditions. It's um, it's not hard to pick up a number because it's so easy to have some poor balls on the on the end. And yeah, like again, it's it is turning quite well for the conditions we've got, but if you get a few short balls, it's hard to find your way through. So Noel's had a good lead away here. Perfect weight. She put the jack there, so she should have known that, and she did. Yep. Again, Kawana sort of... I need is just a little, a little bit uh, heavy on the end, but at least she's there and giving a bowl a chance for later on the end. And we'll probably find in the afternoon, like Kawana usually gets a bit of breeze here on the, on the core shore here. I think it's, the flags are starting to... Flutter a little bit more out there. There's yes, another good draw by um, Nola there. Yes. Leading very well. A long time member of Kiwana. Been playing here for a very fair few years. Yes, I'd hate to think how long Nola's been here. I'd need to look it up. She's uh, played a lot of years here and. Um, she was there during a lot of those years. Yeah, it's pretty handy having another specialist lead coming up in the second yeah. year to roll yeah, up. Debbie, and yeah. Debbie, yeah, and Debbie's, uh, she's nailed a very good ball there. Yeah, that's a great ball there. Yep. yep. Hey, great, Deb. No wonder we picked her for the district. Yes, well, she's in the squad and she's in with a big yep. chance of playing. Change the path of some scores as well. Afternoon. Is that Sandman? Yes, the Sandman. How are you? He's probably out there working in the, the Uber industry. So we have... And Deb's backed up with another pretty handy ball. A bit heavy, but nothing wrong with that. Uh, he'll be interested in the... Come on, Nita. It's your time to shine here. Uh, Robin, sorry. Robin. 
You can see the scoreboard, Sandman, it's six four. Not sure who it's in favour of. Sandman's looking for a bit of Pelican stuff. I think Palmwich might be six and Pelican four. Other scores, we've still got. <laughs> Coolum oh. five, Glasshouse one. Yandina are still 11 4 up against Kiwana. Yes, that, unless there's been a dead one, that might be nearly due for a change of the uh, yeah. change of the scoreboard. But um, I see the uh, I think there's been another end play. The brown bowl that was stamped 1954 on the jack. Kurt just rolled it out. One of, the best, I, one of the best bowls for today's conditions. He'd round the world, nearly. It's a, yeah. I don't think it's a Dunlop, but it's not far <laughs> off it. And he bowled beautifully with them. Yes. Oh, there's a great bowl there. Uh, Kiwana still with two, I think. Oh, maybe only one, but only um, one. that last blue bowl put in, in by uh, Joy has... Um, I think it might be second shot at Jack Eye. Mm. I've moved that crane lifter up there three times and the ladies keep putting it back in the same spot. Mm. <laughs> what have you shifted, Wayne? The, 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 the crane lifter. The lifter. There's nothing wrong with the crane lifter. Oh. Yeah, we had a bit of an incident this, this morning. We were playing um, Palmwoods and John Berriford Beresford was playing with his arm and his arm of, fell to bits. His arm fell to bits. One of the one of the um, little plastic swivels in the arm came was, out and we couldn't find there it. There was tears everywhere. <laughs> he was gonna search our pockets too, he thought yeah, we, we did it on purpose. Yeah. Yes, we didn't know whether he needed a uh, magnet to go looking for it because it was obviously no, he found it, did he? He found no, it in the end. No, no, he didn't. No, no, he's, no, he's playing with his. You know that's totally illegal. No, no, that's yeah. totally illegal, Al. He should have been forfeited. Oh, okay. The rules are: you start with an arm, you finish with an arm. Unless it breaks. We might have just had to make a bit of a concession for him today. There you go. The uh, the uh, lifter has been sorted. Okay, Linda, what have you got? She's not short. No, she's not clear run, idea. clear run, she's, we'll clear run, she's good. Oh, she's got that bowl beautifully. Yes, that's, oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely three, isn't it? It's pretty four, five, unless the orange bowl at Jack Eye, the other side, is anywhere near it. But, uh, Probably going to be four. Four. Yeah, we've um, we're just uh, being attacked by um, Helen and Pat, yeah. our um, our Lip match committee. Lips lipstick all over me face. <laughs> They've done a wonderful job today to get everything organised. Well, they have. I know. I had um, people ringing me up and saying, "Well, are we playing at Kiwana? Is it going to rain?" <laughs> yeah, you should look yeah. ahead. Oh, I think we had contingencies, but it was um, it was. Oh, it was a bit of a surprise to come out today and see the sunshine, which yeah. is very good to see. The, uh, the weather yeah. experts have uh, yeah. been up to their usual games again. So Shane's in cruising through the fjordlands in New Zealand. Well done, mate. I hope the weather's not too rough and you, you get to go into the, the uh, Milford Sound or I think it's doubtful. It has been rain, uh, um, snowing in Australia too, you realise, Shane, <laughs> today. Nine inches down oh, somewhere. Look out here. Oh, it's Peter with the coffees. Yeah, Thanks, Peter. I didn't know he's a clown. He can. Absolute yeah. gentleman. Oh. He's a good juggler. <laughs> right, here's the measure out. This is going to tell a bit of his tale. Yep. Few fingers, he didn't raise the fingers high enough for the three screen. Down, yeah, so at three least three shots yeah. there. Yep. 
So Kiwana's just getting that little bit of a... Let's call it a buffer or a small break. Yeah, just a little bit of a break. We've got, a measure, much, we've got a measure on the jack over the other side on um, the um, Richardor game, and I think it looks all right, but I could be wrong. It's in inches. All right, Nola again. She's um, put the jack where she wants it. And she's not far off putting the ball somewhere near where she wanted it to. Yeah. That's a very good lead She's just about to get a clap there from Linda. Very well. Lovely ball. Great starter. So Anita, she's been playing quite well too. Has been. Not quite there. A pretty good line. Just <laughs> yeah, it looks like another good one here from Noel. Use that. Oh, yeah, done enough. Easy did enough. Game. Yeah, did enough. Just a bit overcorrected a little bit here, I think. Give it, give it a chance. Yep, gave it a chance. That one's still in the game. He's dead with the yellow perils, and they are hitting the mark again. Very good ball. Yeah, another ball. This is starting to look like our game this morning, in a way. They got away from us, didn't they? <laughs> no, they just played too good. And they look like they're keeping it on over there, too. Yes, they're six all with Pelican. At the moment. Oh, great try. She's just under the mark. Just having a quick look at the game next door. It's it's um it's nine eight uh, between um to Wanton and uh, Wumbai. the Wumbai girls. And the Wumbai girls are taking it right up to them. A uh, couple of my favourites out there, Rochi. Clancy. Clancy. Clancy's my favourite barmaid on the coast. Yeah, she does a wonderful job there at Wumbai for us. And I've that. got a few other favourite barmaids on the coast, oh, mind yeah. you, but we can't mention them all. Yes. Makes it sounds like you uh, spend a bit of time at the bar there <laughs> in most places. <laughs> yeah. Only at one boy, huh? Yes, we've got the other lady in our team there is Jeanette Morrow. We've got one lady stepping in for Helen Rudolph, who's away. A month. Right, we've got a bit of an update here. All the men's games. Coolum 6 1 up over Glasshouse. Yand in a 13 6 of holding their lead against Kiwana. They've got two shots each since our last round up. Uh, the Pelican, Pelican Waters and Palmwoods game, 6 all. Uh, we'll send that out to Shane to keep his eye on things or his ear on things. Uh, and the Twanton Nambour game, at 7 11 with Twanton leading. So, so Nambour have yeah. made a bit of ground up there. Yeah, again, they had the buy, so did um, Kawana, so they're both probably just... Big Nick, a bit of Nixon, he's probably making his presence felt by now, I'd say. Yeah. 
But they, the, they had the buy, so they're probably just getting a bit used to the green. And um, yeah, with the with back across to the women's games, um, the Tawantan Wombai game, which we just mentioned, is still eight nine in favour of um, Tawantan. I might add, just by a shot. Uh, in favour of Wombai by a shot. Sorry. Um, and the Palmwoods Marucci game, well, the Palmwoods girls have just got to find another gear. They're just hmm. sneaking a little far behind, 15-2 down. The Glasshouse Calandra game is a very tight game, 3-4 to Calandra favour. Yeah, the Palmwoods girls, um, yeah, they're, again, uh, only some very new bowlers, a lot of them. Um, first time they've sort of been together, so they're doing a great job. They had a good win this morning, everyone was very pleased for them. These are the games you learn from. You, yes, you play, you play uh, more credential bowlers at times and uh, you've got to play to their standard yes, and uh, that's where you improve your game. Yes, you've got to, got to learn to lift when you need it. I, I also know I um, was talking to the, um, the men's Andina um, skip. Uh, Brad Smith, and here he, he um, came over to Wombai the other night for our corporate night, and he um, he was saying that they'd only just throw the team together with a fair few newbies, and they end up winning the Andina one. So he was pretty stoked there. To they did play themselves down a bit, but I think they play a bit more bowls at a higher yeah. level than what they let on. Yeah. They uh, they're a very good team. Yes. Well, that, that's mean. Yeah, Dina's. Um... They uh, it was a Yandina team took out the Yandina tournament last last week. Yes, yes, that was. Well, it's like it's not like it's a mug tournament. It's a it's a seven and a half thousand dollar tournament. So oh, there were some good teams there. But again, they're starting to attract a few younger bowlers there and, and getting a good group together, which is great. Well, I think the same guys, the one by ten thousand, they came in the top three or four last year yeah, too yeah. at the one by ten thousand. Yeah. So. And again, that's what I mean. And the pennants, they did very well. So, um, yeah, it's been great there. We know Leon out there is the um, the president. And they've been doing a great job out there. Who's the uh, Mumbai lead, Al? Uh, Mumbai? Mumbai lead in the women. Is Jeanette Morrow. And Jeanette Morrow. She just bowled an absolute curler up there. She, she left the first one a bit wide, which is easier to do on that hand. And... Uh, this bowled absolute pearl to just trail a jack of foot. Yeah, no, she's been bowling for a fair while tonight. She's one of our stalwarts. Her, um, her daughter, Helen Rudolph, is, would have been in the team, but they're away overseas. Yeah. Not sure where they went. They went to, not sure they went to Bali or somewhere, didn't they? Or, yeah, they they're like away. They like going to Norfolk Island. Oh, Norfolk Island. Oh, oh. oh. Yes, um, unfortunately, there's comes. quite a few subs filling in today over mm. the whole thing. But I mean, it's yes, very sir. hard to plan six months ahead. Some of these, um, some of these club championships were won three and four months ago, and uh, it's always hard to hold the same team together because people have commitments, and uh, there's often someone missing yes. when you get to a final or playoffs. Well, apparently, some people think there's a life after bowls or without bowls, so I don't know where they get that idea. <laughs> so, well, there's no time limit on these games today, is there? I think there's a three hour. Yeah, three and a half hours. Three, three and a half, half hours. Well, I mean, if anyone yeah, takes yeah. over three hours, they're probably well, wasting yeah. a fair bit of time, I'd say, today. So. Yeah, all the, the games in the first round got done quite comfortably. I oh, know we had to wait for. Um, Tony Green to walk up and down the, the green a fair bit. He, um, he's getting a bit slower. <laughs> yes. He's waiting for a hip replacement, so. He'll be bionic when he gets that done. Yes. Just 
like um, over that uh, Kawana game again. It's still 13-6. They kind of yeah. haven't made much headway. and uh, But uh, it looks yeah, like Harrow's bowl is uh, behind, but it's not shot that blue bowl. The, the um, Yandina lead, who's been yeah. up there all day, has got done it again. So Anyhow, Kurt's Kurt and, um, and Brad the skip have um, got, a, got a couple of bowls each, and we'll see what happens over there. Brad hasn't played too bad of one. He's only going to sit on. Oh no, yeah. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, if it's not if it's not second shot, it's third. Yeah. What he wants another foot. Yeah. Nolan started well here again, and Debbie's just track track level, which is. Kurt's drag the jack to back to Harrow, or it may well be to the other brown bowl on the right. She's let that go a bit narrow. Yep. Nothing to wick off. Well, this one's looking. Oh, she got the legs. And Brendan knew halfway down that it was not going to get there because yeah. you've really got to send it every time. This one just seems to be going to hang a bit. It's the inside edge off of that one. It's off that and came in for a second. Oh, third shot for the here. Just been struggling to get away. Actually, yeah. just looking at the picture, I mean, I'm watching the green, but looking at the picture, the orange bowl at Jack Ice looks like it's maybe second yeah. shot. Was. Oh. Oh, still is. He's still. <laughs> one down, so. So Patricia's calling that there one down, so obviously the orange bowl is. I would have thought the um, backhand might have been a better. Option there? Yeah, on this, on this whether she's a bit worried that. Well, I mean, you've got the trail that's on as well. So well, that's right, she's got the, the, the ball to that one trail. Anyhow, what do we know? She's yes. nearly oh. drawn, nearly. No. Yeah, it's short. <laughs> yeah, there's sort of a bit of danger there for. Belinda, she can easily knock something. So Wayne, I haven't talked to you much about the um, live screening setup in recent times, but um, it's great to see you having a go and getting it up and running on the coast here, because that's what we really need. And uh, you see live streaming all around the world at the moment, and um, all the different states. And yeah, you, it's good to be able to go and watch a bowl in in um, in New Zealand if you want to see one on, or one of the um, Big tournaments within this within Australia, and you can usually even there's a lot of live bowl stream for different club championships even at the moment. So if you want to watch a game of bowls, yeah, you can a these great days. Great bowl by Linda. No, yeah, that's a shot. Beautiful bowl. Well so, done. Um, for those people out here on the coast, um, hopefully you've got the um, got the right info to get in and log into these games. Yep. So we've got uh, bowls promo. Yeah, Bowls Promo TV on the YouTube, and uh, and as far as Facebook goes, we're just piggybacking off the Sunshine Coast Winter Bowls Carnival Facebook page. There's a pretty good pre effort by Patricia there. She's probably second shot, and she gave herself a chance. She had really good weight, just maybe got a bit of a straightener, but um, it was a very good, very good weighted bowl, well weighted bowl. So we've just got a, yeah, a good job from Pothole Pete. Thank you, Pete. Pete, always good to hear from you, Pete. Nice picture of him there. With a, I think he's got his racehorse here, hasn't he? 
I don't know whether Pete's got a race or not. He's got a couple of potholes lying around the countryside. Oh, and here's, oh, there's, oh, she's got a, here's another well calculated oh, ball. <laughs> that's probably one shot to Linda in the end. Might have two, I think. I'm pretty oh, sure. Maybe Nola's bowl too. You can see to the left of the screen that they've called for a measure. And that is got to be 22, 23 legal. metres, it's hasn't legal. it? That's legal. That's legal. Oh, she's making it look like it's not. I don't. Oh, I good. Don't, I don't get why. <laughs> I always say, why isn't the tape measures have a nice red mark at the 21 metre mark? Because you always see people looking around for it. 21? 23. 21, yeah. A little bit of measuring yeah. going on. What have they decided? Any fingers in the uh, Give the umpires one a job. Down. Give the umpires a job. I think it was only the one. One to Kawana. Yes, we go over to... A few of us go over to New Zealand and, um, yeah, it's 23 metres over there, so it's... People get caught up, they go, oh, no, that's long enough. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's They do a few things <laughs> differently over there too, but, you know, we had a crack at the 23 metres for a while too. Mm. And that wasn't a bad bad game. Yeah, it just reduces the area you play in. I think it's it's good to have the twenty one. I think that's a great a great thing um, to have the a bit more difference between the longest end and the shortest. What's the number of the It adds to the variety but Playing a short end like that makes well, it yeah, too easy for the ones that drive to hit, so you tend yeah. to... Oh, when, yeah. when they hit. You've still got to get the result with the hit. That, like that sounds like a lead statement, <laughs> Wayne. <Yes. laughs> oh, that one just stayed out, didn't want to come back. And again, this is probably the shortest length they've played on this... It's quite a short one, yeah. yeah. Might take him a little bit to get used to it. It'll be about 23 metres because the mat's about two yeah. metres behind the rink next door. Yeah, so. Anyhow, we've had, we've had nine in, so everyone should be used to it by now, but mm. believe me, <laughs> you won't today. But again, like, <laughs> uh, I think that's, that's a big part of the game, is changing the length, and even if you say play the same length, change where the mat is. Bring the mat up and play the same length. Yeah, Deb, Debbie looks good here. She's yeah, very nice ball. She gets a touch of feather. Uh, I don't know whether they're not running up and putting chalk on it. Oh. No, it's well, I gave her a touch or anyway. It's yeah. short. All but. This one holds up, it'll be good. Make more. Oh, she got the weight. Oh, great second try. Would sort have of loved to have another couple of feet on that. Thumbs up from Rochi next door. Got the second in with the beauty. Yeah, that's um, Karen Jensen. So I think, yeah, Karen Jensen. Well, I think the Wumboy girls might have got a bit of a jump on the Twanton girls here. I think, uh, can you see the scoreboard from there, Al? I mean, yeah, 13 8. 13 8, yeah. Bit of a mini break. 13 8, yeah, I would have thought the, um, probably the favourites for that game would have been the Twanton girls. Yes, um... Yeah, bowler, bowler of the female bowler of the year last year was um, Tara Ferry. She won a, won a lot of things there last year. Yeah, she won a couple of good events. I think she did well in the uh, she, mixed yeah. pairs. I think she, she might have won. Yeah. Yeah, she won the mixed pairs. She um, won the fours, champion of champions. Right, so this is the Twaton team that won the championship yeah. fours, was it, last year? Yeah. So, so they beat, she beat, that was uh, Wumbai against Twaton there last year. In so the final, yeah. right, yeah, eh? So. Well, thank Although you. Tara was skipping last year, she's playing third this year. Who's skipping the Twaton team this year? Um, Kelsey Wade. 
Evon Walsh. Sorry. No, no, Kelsey. Oh, Way. Kelsey Way. Sorry, Evon Walsh is in the. Uh... Yeah, so Kelsey Way. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Good Good sorry. Linda's saying they're still holding two. Come around the outside. So she's got the weight here, which is very good here. Look out, the uh, Calounder ladies are very excited there. It's a brilliant bowl. Oh, that's Made sure it turned it to just to one. To down. one, yeah. Oh, Had yeah. to get around that one. Any one of the uh, Calandra girls are excited there. Like, uh, it's a very tight game with the Glass House girls, 6 4. Two shots up, so it's, um, they're very keen to contest at the moment. A good weight on that. It just didn't come out the way she wanted it to. No. Nah. So they're, they're still holding their their ground there. It's 14-7. Uh, Gandina over Kawana in the men's. Um, I don't know whether they've changed the board too much at Glasshouse. And Coolum game is still 1-7. Yeah, it's about to be changed now. The Coolum boys have yeah, turned it over. It's 9 to uh, 4. 9, nine to 4. four. Yeah. The Glasshouse girls have got that shot back. Well, they've got excited anyway. Yeah. yeah, quite a handy ball there from Linda. Just falling over. Just a few. Yeah, Pat's oh, just just holding there. Just with the weight, it's just holding. She was hoping it would come onto the... Pete's saying he's had a few winners with the horses. Oh, well, there you go, Pete. Your shout, Pete? Yeah. Any tips? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put the tips through. Now yeah, we're looking for race eight. Pete, I got on Jamie Carr a couple of races ago, and that was handy, but I missed out on Harry Coffee because I wasn't concentrating. I had to look at bowls for a while. <laughs> Harry got a 14 to 1 winner up over down in Ooh. Melbourne, and um, I did back Jamie. On uh, about a five to one up there in Sydney. So, what have we got here? It's a bit wide. Oh, still hanging wide a little Good bit. Good luck. So yeah, Tawanton's got a little bit of a lead over Nambour in the men's. They're seventeen seven. The day's just going to go and do a bit of a run round and make sure you're updating all these scoreboards at the moment. And they're all kicking a few bowls, so they've all just finished an end, so... The Pelican is... Oh, I'm not sure who's up. It's 10-7 on that one. 14-7 to Yandina. And 9-4. Looks like so. Is it Taunton have got a bit of a jump on Nico over there? Yeah, they Taunton have. Taunton are 17-7 yeah. up on the, um, on the Nambour ten outfit. 10-shot one. I think that's uh, Mr. Rooney's just drawn off an absolute, really a toucher there, the yellow ball from Lisa to what? Yeah, they've got quite a strong team there. With it looks like Glasshouse have just picked up, or well, they're holding two shots on Calandra on that rink over there where it's um, a 6-4 score, so... With only a... Um, with only a bowl to come. Actually, um, Glasshouse have got another... another bowl up the sleeve for a... I think it's a free kick. There's more. Oh, 
Is that camera frozen now, is it? No, no, it's okay. okay. There's a couple of freezers. Yeah, so that's probably bumped Noel up to be shot. A bit unfortunate there. She had good weight if she got past. Maybe he's drawn fair weight there and Yeah, that'll be that'll think, be the uh, shot, I think. I think uh, Patricia's actually called it uh, two down, so must yep. be pretty close to Jack High. That's a very good bowl there. Great bowl. Strongest team in the women. That's Robin. Robin's bowl. She's drawn, um, drawn Jack Hoy. She hasn't been far away the last three or four ends, actually, Robin. She's, no. she's probably had the, the better bowls out of the Headland girls and, and give them a bit of a chance. But unfortunately, the uh, Kiwana girls keep putting in a good bowl, which Debbie's just done again. I don't need the applause sound effect. There's plenty of support. Well, it is the local team. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's going to be a bit unlucky here. She may have knocked that across yeah. the second. There you go. What? But that time... Um, yeah, it gave him more of a target to land on. Oh, Brenda's trying to come back, but it's just struggling a little bit. Yeah, Brenda hasn't bowled a lot of bowls recently, so she's probably yeah. um, working herself a bit hard to, to get involved. But a, with a very good bowl on her day, Brenda. Yeah, it's just to get that mindset today. Isn't it? Oh, it is. It feels like be. a beautiful day out there, but you still yeah, just got to give it a yeah. little push. Let's, let's draw it four foot behind and hopefully yeah. get close. We're going to see if we can try give your bowl a chance. If you end up a metre behind, that's, that's still a good bowl. She's made the grade this time. Has she got the jack? Just under. Oh, no. It's a handy ball. Handy spot there. Yep. That's me. Like, be a metre behind. You're still in the game. There's nothing like um, putting the short ball down and then someone wicks off it and gets the shot. Oh, you know. well, I'm sure Linda will be thinking, thinking, thinking that that's pretty a handy back ball there for her. Yeah, oh, yeah. Especially with the weight that was played then, like it was you know, call and collect, and now uh, you're, you're down two yeah. or three shots if you haven't got a back bowl. And that's yeah, one of the worst things is you got nothing at the back, and especially on a bit of a holding green, you know that they're going to be positive. Thank you. So another round the grounds, thanks to Faye. Yeah, round the grounds. Thank you, Faye. So we'll start off with the uh, men from the far side, and and Taunton have slipped away from the Nambour crew, twenty-one to seven. Pelican Waters twelve-seven up on Palmwoods. Uh, Yandin and Kiwana. So Kiwana have had a made big inroads here, and they're only a shot down. So it's fourteen thirteen to Yandina still. In the Coolum Glasshouse game. Coolum are still five shots up on Glasshouse. Now, with the women, apart from the game that uh, you can see on screen there, the scores are up there, but uh, the Twatton Mumbai game, Mumbai have edged out to 13 10 up. Um, the Marucci girls are still, they're 14 up, they're, they're 17 3 on the Palmwood girls. And uh, Glasshouse have picked up a couple of ends and they've uh, edged ahead of the Calandra girls. 8-4. Um, so Calandra started off 4-2 up and now they've stuck on 4 and Glasshouse girls have got another 6 shots so they've got four four shot lead. And, 
I think they've just turned it over. It's 8 5 now. I think 8 5, so Calandra have got an end. A shot back. They've got the mat. Let's see what they can do with that. It's not a bad head, this one on the screen. They're like, you know, there's a few wayward ones, but oh. generally there's probably you know, there's six or eight bowls within the metre, so. And again, I think. Um, yeah. What's he got? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that's giving yourself a chance. <laughs> no, I can't blame him for that because there was no draw in there. No, and that's. One shot to Debbie's. Uh, Brenda's pointing two or three. Two, I think. It might be. One, one shot one, only. One only. One only, yep. So it must have been the orange bowl at Jack High that was second shot, yeah. yeah. Again, like you're saying, uh, yeah, Robin's been putting in some good balls into the head there. And one needed a good one to beat him. I'm not sure. With the uh, Headland girls, I know the uh, a couple of these Kawana girls play fairly regularly together know each other's game pretty well. Yeah, very. Debbie and Lindy play a bit together, I know. Mm. Um, Brenda hasn't played much of the team because she's only just come okay. back to Kiwana this year and um, and for, for travel reasons and a few other things, she hasn't so, got involved yeah, in too many games. Again, she's only but, coming back in as a sub. So. But she's a, um, a yeah. quality bowler. Quality bowler. Just racing through. Let's see over there at the uh, Kawana um, yeah, and Denny game. Harrow's bowls have been starting to show up a little bit more in the last two or three in, so yeah, he might have got the uh, the weight about right. Oh, he's got two shots there. He's yeah. Yep, two, so that, that would give Kawana probably the lead for the first time for the day. After that horrific start, hmm. who gives a seven on the first end, Alan? Yeah. Have you ever done that? <laughs> well, I know in the, um, the grade eights, I was yeah, eight down with one ball to play. I got, I got the third shot, which was good, but yeah. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> first end, they, they hadn't, uh, end, the end and boys had come off a game and uh, Kawana exactly. hadn't played a game, and what do you do? You, yeah. You're feeling no, for yeah. it. You're feeling for it, so... I didn't see the scenario that happened, but uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a tough, tough uh, pill to, to swallow. Hmm. Someone's um, had 21 ends on the green, and you've, you've probably had an up and back. So yeah, it's yeah. We, we got a seven on Tuesday, <laughs> if that counts in the over 60s. Over 60s social at where, Wayne? <laughs> Mumbai. Mumbai. <laughs> don't think that counts, does it? No, you don't get badges for that, Wayne. Sorry. <laughs> I still a few, hear a few of the guys still crying out for a badge when they get an eight, and yeah. I think it's a thing of the past. They're, they're way too heavy on your hat. <laughs> well, have you got that many of you, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Don't believe in them, Al. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a very... I, I remember one of my very first games, I was playing with a little guy, um, we used to call him Apple, and I was at... Uh, at the Swan at those days, and we went and played at Club Marucci, or was it? That was a the beach then. And we we're probably two down, and our bowls matched pretty much every one of theirs. And this little apple from Tasmania says, "Oh, you'll have a drive." When the dust settled, every one of our bowls had gone. <laughs> every one of theirs had stayed. It happens. It happens. Go, How could that happen? And there's no way you could see that ever happening. It can happen. You can take all your own bowls out. It's, it's not well, hard. I just saw a game. Never, never in line or anything. You just I watched the, watched the game of Kurtz the other day playing down at the, yeah. uh, was it, Musgrave? In the, yes, in the singles. In yeah. the singles. He was down What's to the about the game? last eight or something like that. Yeah. Might have been 16 or could have been the four. But he's, um, he was struggling to stay in the game anyway. And uh, he's put a put a bowl in to try to take one out. Well, he's got one, yeah. two, three of his own. And, it's just and he probably it, only missed by... Couple of inches of what he wanted to hit. Wrong side of the bowl, yep. and suddenly and bang, he's, 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 dropped, he's, he's dropped a four game over. So, 
can happen to the best of us. Yeah, it's a cruel game when you, and that's what I mean. Yeah. The best bowlers use a, a, a lovely weight just to do the shot they're doing. Oh, I thought that I'm was sure everyone's had plenty of times where they've um, they've only got one ball in the head and they somehow find the, some way to hit that bone ball out. <laughs> this is coming in nicely, yes. isn't it? Oh, just again. Uh, Brenda's just I think she's used to these screens being a little bit quicker. Yeah, well, she'd probably she'd give it plenty on the first, but... Yeah. Uh, and just that adjustment, really. I find that sometimes, too, with, like, a... Like a half-second green, you sort of... get that metre over, metre under, and you just struggle all day trying to find it. Well, it's three o'clock almost. So that'll be the fastest the green's going to be yeah. today. It's going to start slowing down again again. Wayne, yeah. it was fastest when Blake got off the roller this morning, <laughs> I promise you. I <laughs> don't oh, know, we found a bit more speed at about 10 o'clock. Sorry, can't agree. Anyhow, yeah. speaking of the weather, the forecasters have mucked it again. Oh, yeah. We had a beautiful day here at Kiwana. We haven't got any, any serious clouds above us. I mean, we can look out to the west towards the hinterland there and just some more, more serious clouds. I've got to think they may be wrong tomorrow, but we can oh, only I live in hope. So, yeah. yeah, enough about the weather. Well, tomorrow, Everyone's, been talking, everyone's yeah. been talking about the weather for the last three months here because <laughs> all it's done rain, so... There's nothing on the radar. Oh, she gets under this one. Yeah, Linda's not quite down. Oh, but close. Okay, close. Jack Eye's always good, isn't it? No, that orange ball in front's got to be closer than the um, yeah. Jack Eye ball. Which again, that's Robin again. Robin's, you know, like Robin's pretty had the, the better bowls all day, yeah. all, all game so far in this. Yeah, she's definitely been giving them a chance. What do you got, Linda? Got good weight? Yeah, looks pretty good. Oh, Hurry. very good ball, Linda. Hurry. Very good. Yep. Going to be three. Again, it makes a big difference. Noel has been playing pretty consistent ball. Oh, Noel, a man of the match. Oh, maybe the woman of the match. No, I'll get the right side oh, of this. There's a great oh, otherwise, I'll cut it back to one. It's very hard when the numbers are against you. Like you've got yeah. to have bowls in the head. And the more bowls in the head, the, the well, more luck you're going to get. Yeah, people yeah. say that that would be luck, but uh, if you've got to have bowls in the head to get luck. So again, just stretching their lead a little bit. And looking across the board, the um, the um, Palmwoods girls have won a couple of events, so they're edging their way back a little bit. Um, yes. The Caloundra game hasn't moved much, but um, again, the Tawant Mumbai game, they don't know how to measure the jack. They've called for another measure. No, it might be a, a, a bowl measure no, this time. Bowl measure. Not sure who's got the. Well, it looks like there's a few there to. Um, there's three or four there to. Um, to read. Clancy just directing the umpire on what to do. <laughs> well, it could be I think she just said, I can't believe this, she just said to her, I'm not going to serve you if you get this wrong. <laughs> Next time you come out to Wombai, so <laughs> I'll tell you what. 
Yeah, we've got rules out at Wombo, you know. <laughs> I just brought that up on the on the screen. I'm going to use the um, laser. Gee, it goes a lot better with the laser than the tape measure, actually. Yeah. Yep. All these lasers get into like, three decimal points, and I think I've had three times that the laser said it's. They go to a tenth. A tenth, yeah, but. I've had it three times that they say that it's exactly even. Well, yeah, I've... I've and I, I reckon I can get more of a rub on one bowl than the other. Yeah, and so that's and I've perfect. seen the same, and I've had a couple yeah. of zeros where they've just squashed them both. And getting back to the game at hand, the leads <laughs> have bowled absolute perfect leads. Uh, I'm not sure who's got shot. Uh, the blue bowl's got shot, which was Gosh, drawn yeah. second after Noel's... Noel it's lead, obviously. Yep. And um, got shot, and then Noel's put another pretty good bowl to be, well, yeah, equal, got... equal second, let's say. Yeah, well, <laughs> well she's got two bowls, two good bowls in the head. Yeah. And, like, we're playing, and, and they're playing, these girls are playing nearly ditch to ditch. They're probably about five foot off ditch to ditch, and they're bowling inside a foot. So, yeah, brilliant bowls, Noel. And Anita. And Anita's got the number one. It looks precise. <laughs> Can she not decide? Oh, hello. Six. Looks like she put two hands up. It's the only, only thing with the um, camera. I find with the the laser measures is. How do, how do they get the pieces of metal to be so perfect? <laughs> yes, you would think that... Um, I'd like one day someone to switch the pieces of metal around and see whether they get the same result. Yeah, fair comment. Because if you drop them or anything like that, you, you wonder what happens. Got to get them recalibrated. Yeah. Is it is it like a speed uh, like a um, oh, speed just, camera? I, Do you get it re? <laughs> Alan just threw that in there, but I mean, I know, yeah, but I think they're a great invention and takes a fair bit out of it. How many millimeters in that, Tony? How many millimeters? Oh, the umpires aren't real sure, so we'll go 3100. So they've told us that there was 31 hundredths of a millimetre over something in it. So. Oh, that was a great effort there. Joy just needs a little bit more. Just diving across a little bit. Yeah, she's got a fair weight. These girls are getting pretty good weight at this time of the day. Oh, the, at the cross over here, it's one to one. The Kiwana girls are having a real serious look at this. Hmm. What are you going to do, Linda? There's a couple of shots on it. Throw your lifter at it. No, they've come to some kind of agreement anyway. I don't think they're... 
I'd be reaching. What would you do, Al? Oh, again, yeah. I mean, nothing to one, lose. one down to them is not a problem nothing. at the moment. So, again, you don't want to be silly, but oh, I don't think they've got too much. You've got to play ditch weight, Al, because it's yeah. only about five foot to the ditch. Yeah. And I think if you play just a reaching weight, you're probably more likely to not maybe knock another one up if you. No, she's pulled this. Nothing to wick off either. Wayne, I hate the word wick. Wick on Wombo, wick. It's a very badly used word in all forms of bowl. We love Wombo, we love our Wombo wicks. I've heard about the Wombo wick. So, Pothole Pete, you're still in the Coolum Beach corner, and do you need an update? Because it's, uh, I think they're 12-5 up, are they? I think they're 12-5 up by the scoreboard at the moment, Pete, so if that helps you in any possible way. Go the Coolum boys. That um, Yanduna Kiwana game, still neck and neck. It's 15 all at this stage of the game. And I, that looks like a Yanduna bowl shot with the black and white bowl at the back, Wayne. So. Yeah, I just saw the people who knocked us out. They they dropped a four and a three. Now they're nine behind. Who smacked you? The Palmers, Palmers boys? Yeah, Greeny. Well, right, eh? They need to lift their game a bit. So with the ladies, it's 18-8, uh, the Maroochee Beach girls over Palmwoods. Not a lot of change going on there yes. lately. The Wombai girls are still 14-10 up by the board. And um, I'm just waiting for the girls to move out of the way of the um, scoreboard over in the Calandra Glasshouse game, which has um, been tight all the way through. And they've got a very tight head at the moment. There's four or five bowls inside the um, mat length. Eight all. Eight all for that game, so it'll be a very keenly contested one by the end. And they're probably, um, end-wise, they're probably 10 or 11 ends in. Well, Headland's got off the four. 11 ends in. Yes, that bowl of Anita's in that uh, last end held its own and stayed there. It's always, um, as a lead, it's always very good to put your bowl in and it's also much better to see it still there at the end because uh, after leading for a lot of years, I know what it's like. And and uh, you can never, you know, you always say to your leads, don't be too perplexed if someone rolls you out or beats you because you, your job's done. You've just got to put it in there. Keep putting, your, keep putting your lead bowl in and uh, you've done your job. You can't control what the next three bowlers do to you. But, yeah, if you, um, if you keep getting those bowls there, it puts the pressure on straight away, for, especially in fours. So it's a great start. Makes everybody else feel more comfortable. They play better bowls. It keeps the pressure on the other team. I'm looking across, watching uh, Jeff Brown there. He's having a good look at a, a pretty good head there over in that rink there, Palmwoods against Pelican. Yeah, you just missed that update. I just caught up with Brownie. They've changed him to play third. 
He says, that's a disaster. Um, they dropped a four and a three and they're now nine behind. But they're holding one shot at the moment. Yeah, Tempe was just a little bit short there. So Headland's won the match and they've got a shot. So they've changed the length to suit them. Oh, I think she's just going to be, be a little bit short getting another shot here. Too. Won't be happy with that. What are you guys up there? Watch it on TV. Oh, it gets under this one, it'll be good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's got the shot with that one, Brenda. Very good. Just a little sit on this. Today, it? Laid it flat and yeah, flat rolls. Oh, probably not. What can you see there? Close. Oh, you'll need a. No, you're not here. No. Oh. Oh. Reasonable weight. Just Just going under. Correction, but that's her second one, so she can't yeah. correct anymore. So we're all having a bit of a look, trying to work out what the shot is. Right, here come the magic fingers. What do you reckon, Brenda? No, uh, she's not going to say. Keep it a secret. See what she says after this ball. Yeah, again, I think she just wicking. needs a wick. Oh, double wick. Oh, that's got to be close. Double wick. Yeah, that's a one, Good thing one Ray's, down there. Good thing Ray's going to get a drink. Mm. No, but she had a, had a good line of bowls there to, to work off. Don't know whether... No. Linda just didn't have quite the weight. To oh, get that to. just fell in, I think. Wait a No, I think the blue still got it. Bring Linda. You got your cup of tea, Ray? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. Good. They do a pretty good coffee here, actually. <laughs> oh, well, she's yeah, not got, too bad here. She's got oh. a bit extra on this. Yeah, yeah, it should swing under. Yeah, Linda's not far very away. close to loading up on this. Get the edge. Ooh, oh, she did. Oh, no, I oh, don't think so. I don't, I don't know, think yeah. so. That blue bowl still thought. They did yeah. say which, that the light blue bowl was shot. Which one's Brenda's? They're going to get down to measure. And they're wishing it. It's close, yeah. Might need that laser. Don't call me up, boys. Surely you can do it quicker yourself, Wills. 
Well conceded, Brenda. One down with that one. Two headland. So 19 to 5. Um, yeah. That's probably 19 to 6. 14 ends gone. 7 ends to go. Long haul back, but anyhow, bowls is a strange game. So 14 ends. This uh, yes. one boy, one boy, have um, dropped the bundle a bit here too. Next door, all well, the uh, yeah. Tawanton girls have must have picked up a number or two in the last two or three ends because they so uh, the Tawanton three girls up. have hit the front three up. Seventeen, yeah. fourteen after thirteen ends. Yeah, they got that five or six. I missed that. Yeah, so that was when they were measuring with the laser. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah right. That so was already had a few numbers in. Yep, right up. So they really come back then, but. Are they holding now? Can't quite see where the, the jack is there. No. Could be holding two, I think. At least. Which one are you looking at, Alan? At the um, Titan or uh, Mumbai one. Not sure who's. Whoop. You could be holding a few there again. I, I think. can't find the jack. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Bit hard to see the jack there. Yes, so um, in the men's rinks, looks like um, Twat and Noosa have got a handy lead over Nambour. Pelican have got a bit of a lead over Palmwood. Rochi found the jack and she's following it into the ditch. Wombai's up one. And it's quite mine. Still a close game between... Now they're having an excellent a look to see if it's in. Now that, Twine, now, have hit, Twine have hit the front over there in the men's first time for the day. Yes, they're, they're two shots up, so they're starting to make themselves be known. And, uh, um, and Dave, and Rick, Dave Rickson, I think, is, is the fill-in for the day. He's uh, he's just drawn a pretty good shot for a start. When you're, um, when you're 15 inch in and a couple up, it's not bad to have a shot. One old one behind, like a good lead. And I think... I'm just going to flick over to Wombo because they're currently holding three. And she just hit... She hit the bowl instead of getting in. So we might have cut it back to one. It looks like the one in the uh, ditch is going to be hard to beat. It won't. Gee, oh, they're yeah, right on the um, yeah, boundary must peg. Be right there. On the boundary peg. What have yeah. you done, Rochi? You can give yourself a chance here with weight. Yeah, this yeah that's weight, great yeah. balls. Yeah. Two yeah. good balls. Yeah, two great Back balls, into play, yeah. And they'll have to measure one of Clancy's in, I'd say. That'll even it up if they hold on to that. You can see in the background the good, the lovely deck they've got here with, with everybody there. They're taking the two. Well, big, um... You've got two commentators here that are from Mumbai, so yes, we're taking an interest in the Mumbai girls. Well, I'm trying to stick up with the Taunton girls here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah, the Mumbai girls are... Uh, I love the Mumbai girls. Yeah. We have to, otherwise we won't get served drinks. <laughs> They're all, they're all lovely teams here. Everyone's playing it in the right spirit and, and enjoying themselves. Yeah, there's been no cat fights today, especially on the ladies' screen. Yeah. A couple of near scraps on the men's green this morning, <laughs> but anyhow, we won't talk about that. Uh, Were you upsetting people again, Ron? No, no, no. <laughs> I was trying to get under my skin, though. <laughs> Harry's got a shot there from a fair bit of uh, luck, I'd say. Oh, look at that. He's got a beautiful ball there. Rolled up a shot. 
Yeah, back to the game at hand here. I think the uh, Kiwana girls are holding three there, I'd say, by the look of that, from all angles and directions. Yeah. Oh, she's just going to be unfortunate. Yeah. It's her own there. bowl, it's her own bowl. Yeah, yeah if she got around it, she was probably yeah. going to be a very good bowl. So you're happy with the camera set up all that way? It's, um, it looks like it's... Um, well, you're doing all the right stuff with the you're getting you're getting the angles and you can zoom in and um, you chase chase bowls around the different greens and that. Uh, yeah. Are you picking up off other other um, groups what they're doing? Other. Well, you just got to try and have stronger equipment all the time. You got to have better Wi-Fi gear, um, more data, so you don't get the, the da I think it's the data the thing. Like a lot of times you're watching bowls on the on YouTube or whatever and. And you get that uh, the when they stagger, they uh, they sort of freeze on you. Yeah, the, There's cloud, a lot of that. Well, uh, the cloudy weather doesn't help. Just the screen I've watched today, we don't seem to have had too much of the um, staggering. No. The just this camera up this end, because it's the furthest away from, from us. And at the moment, it's behaving. Because this is all without um, cabling. Yes. Yes, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's, without cable, I mean... I watch Brian and the boys, and and uh, Even with they cables, spend they can have a bit with of cables. They have that problem, and um, and it takes an hour to put them out, an hour to take them up. That's on a good day. So, yes. so yeah, for for non-cable stuff, we're we're going pretty good here. Yeah, here's a great bowl by Linda. Well, it did make it a bit easier because the green we're on here, they ran east-west, and now we're running north-south. So yes, we're able just to pick the. The, um, pick the gear up, you can change it, yeah. and change it around. And I'm sure if they had been going the same way, well, I, mean, I mean, they would have gone the same way if it was too hard, so. Oh, here's a lot. Oh, good try there. Yeah, we've got Faye to do a bit of a run around yeah. again here, so a bit of an update on all the scores. Well, the challenge last month was when I did the last game of Premier League up at Toowoomba at Drayton, uh, going to a completely foreign area and crossing my fingers that when I got there I could actually get a signal. Because it's a long way to drive just to find out if you've got a signal. Totally. I, th I think it, it does come down to how much um, data you can get hold of, isn't it, on the day? Like, yeah. You does. know, it's like with your phone if you... If you've got one or two bars, you're not going to get too much, but if you've got four or five, it's obviously a good reception here. Yes, so. so Wayne's been travelling around a little bit looking at spots, so sometimes it's uh, you're pointing in a completely different direction. Four shots to going for a different there, so to, to get that, the right uh, reception. Pretty much puts the Headland girls to bed, I think. They... Um, it's way too far back. So anyhow, they should have. How many? Four shots. Four. The girls Quite just. Six. The Headland girls just sort of keep putting in good bowls and um, show a good finish. Yeah, they can. Again, when you get to that stage, you just want to make double figures and, and build on that. Well, sometimes you get done by a better side, and yeah. end of the day comes if that better side goes through, and you, you sort of start barracking for the opposition. When the, when they go through the next couple of rounds, you think, oh, "Well, yeah. we've been beaten by the best side here." So, yes. you know. Just having a look at, look at a cross of the women. The, the, probably the two strongest teams would be the. The Kiwana and the Martin Noosa team. So. Oh, Marucci Beach. Well, Beach is, yeah, Beach is a pretty strong three. A little yeah. bit further. Yeah, right. over the other side there. I didn't... Yeah, they're doing a very strong team with Alan Ross skipping. But that'd be the three. Well, I think we don't know on, enough. On we paper. probably, we on probably, paper, don't, yeah, we probably exactly. don't know enough about the Glasshouse team and, and they're, they're, them and Flander are having a real tussle yeah. there and we don't know much about yeah, them because we don't see them as much as we do like when you when you look at the, the pennant and that kind of thing like they're having a no grade pennant side so it's hard to gauge how they're actually going it was a bit like we we're watching the glasshouse boys this morning and and uh, 
I said to Alan, we've really got to keep our eye on these couple of young blokes playing the glass here side because, I mean, they've won the yes. club fours and, and they've obviously showed up. Good so team. they're the guys, the young guys. We don't want 80 year olds playing for the district. We're selecting the district side and we want, we want young guys that have got good faculties and that are going to go ahead and press the Sunshine Coast forward. So. So we'll and again, yeah, even we'll be keeping our eye on those guys, and we'll even, be even um, in, in this competition. You, you, you win it, you play for two days. But yeah. if you, you play in the district sides, you're going to play for four days. Exactly right. So and that, that takes a fair bit out of you. I mean, they're the type of guys we'll be looking forward to bringing to our squads next year, and see if we can get the best out of them, and see if we can give them the opportunity to play up at a higher level. And I know we've done. Um, Sunshine Coast actually produces a lot of great juniors, but we um, we're going to hold. We them. usually uh, lose them a little bit, to, so we've lost a couple of the Garrick boys. They've gone down to um, Redlands. We've young Jack Churkin. Young Jack Churkin's gone to Aspel, uh, down, to um, so. Algester. But anyhow, that's um, but yeah. the opportunity that kids, are getting, kids are getting to play in the higher higher oh, um, yeah. competitions. So. No, we wish them all the best and they're yeah, great we've, bowl, uh, We've got to get a team into the high competition ourselves. We, the Sunshine Coast really does need a team in Premier League. Oh, that would be a... Okay. Unfortunately, over the years, when any of the teams have had a crack at it, it's been like the rest of the coast is against them. No, but it's not yeah, bad that you should be all yes. jumping in together and yes. getting a team going. So what is well, this combination? Because we... got you've got to be competitive competitive at that level. And even at the district level we've sort of thought about whether we put a district sort of side in. Because you, you look at it like there's, there's a few Brisbane teams, there's, I suppose there's only one outside of like Toowoomba, you've got Drayton now but most of them are Gold Coast teams. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Well at Drayton they brought, um, what's his name, up from Sydney? It'll come to me. But there was a couple of guys from out west as well, Roma. Yeah, yeah. There's so young Top they, Brain and everybody else there. They, they travel. And they will, but... So it's like a Toowoomba district game like you're talking about oh, for the yeah. Sunshine Coast. It's not just but one the, club. The problem you have with some of the um, Brisbane or especially the Gold Coast clubs, they're, um, they're paying people to come up from... like uh, Raymond Park and... Mm. Uh, yeah, Raymond Terrace, everywhere there. And that's the thing that the Sunshine Coast has got to get its head around. Yeah, Maybe there's got to be a few dollars spread around, around there. And yeah, but you've got to chase sponsorship and get the clubs to get behind these things. And again, yeah. Getting that sponsorship is a very hard thing, even just for the local clubs. Like, it's something we really need and it is a great sport um, plenty of people on the coast play it I was them. thinking we're starting to get down to the pointy end but there's still a lot of 13s on the board for yes. um, for ends gone so 13, 14s, 15s so we've still got 5 or 6, 7 so we're only 2 thirds of the way through it a few games have got fairly big breaks on it, don't they? Do. Yeah, there's three, or, there's three or four of the games looking like they're done and dusted, but there's, you know, out of eight games, there's, um, I'd say, one, yeah. two... Yeah, there's four games that are kind of come down to the wire. Yeah. Well, one has put their nose back in front. Yeah. In the women? Yeah. So in the men, um, we've got Coolum leading glass out 16-6. Um, Kawana now are leading Yandina 1917. 17, 17, yeah, 17. so 1917. Um, Pelican Waters are 18 12 over Palmwoods, so Palmwoods have come back a little bit there. Uh, and um, Tawantan are 24 13 over Nambour. Well, if Nico gets off that unlucky 13 quick, yeah. well, you never know what might yeah. happen here. Cause There's only 10, 11 shots there. That he's a man capable of um, pulling the team back into the game. Yep. Um, well, Pete reckons there's uh, lots of good bowlers on the coast. So. 
Mumbai must have got a few there, so they've, they've gone from 14 17 now to 19 17. Uh, Marucci's still 23 9 uh, against Palmwoods. And Glasshouse is 10 8 over Cloundry. Well, you're talking about sponsorship. I reckon Pete's looks good for it if he gets a good win on the horse. Yeah, well. Come on, Pete, put your money up. It's a bit light on, just when she wanted to get into the head too. Two shots, one, oh well, the back blue might be a measure for the second. Hmm. That, uh, Debbie's bowl? Oh, Debbie's bowl being easy. Another two? Two to Kawana. As you can see in the background, yeah, there's plenty of people here at Kawan for a lovely facility they've got here. Always great lunches. We've got um, TAB. Good looking chick on, good looking chick on the screen now. Mm. Oh, now she's gone. Billy stuck his head in the way. <laughs> Never know, you might get lucky tonight, Ray, if you say that. <laughs> <laughs> get dinner cooked for you. I'm taking her out for dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm the cook. Oh, you're the cook. <laughs> Glasshouse girls are calling for an umpire. Again. Oh, exactly. look at that. No, she has she has played very well today, Nola. I think there's only a couple of times she hasn't had shot, but she's always started the head off well. A little bit heavy. Trying to be confident. as well. I know, Kurt's final bowl going down and I think they could be two or three down so Kurt really needs to do something here and he's rolled up his own bowl I think. There's clapping going on. I think they were three oh, down. Yeah, no, they're still, still one down but uh, I reckon they were three down before that so. And then on the other rink, um, Zach Look out. Here come we down go. got a lovely shot there. Here we go, oh, Nudis just awesome. nailed this bowl. Yep. Great bomb and leader. Yep. Don't be too disappointed, Nola. You've done your job again. Yeah, Debbie's given it a chance. What a hurt there. Hedl has done something over there, too. Not Hedl, one by, I mean, Rochi. Looking at the uniform suit, Roach, it's yeah. exactly the same from the front of the head and half in the back. <laughs> Another fair bowl coming in here by the um, Quant and Skip. Yes. Four shots, four shots. That yeah, might be. Uh, bowl there for Kelsey. Here we are, another change around there. They're from two yeah. down to two up. Seems big. Very high scoring game that. with uh, 16 ends gone. Yeah, so the um the Andina boys have come back, so it's 19 all Yandina and Kawana in the men's on the 17th end. So and gone, yep. So that's game on all the way to the yeah, all so the way to the finish. 
They're neck and neck coming down a I couple think, hundred uh, metres to go. Well, 18 <laughs> 10, I think Dave Brixon may have a shot there, but um, a good shot too, I, think, yeah. I might add, at this stage. Tell you what, he's a good reply. Look at that. Welcome back, Faye. I was just talking about how I was going to cook your tea tonight. Is that right? He's brought in Gordon Ramsay to do it for you. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a... Oh, Jack in the ditch, was it? Well, it's a long way. Yeah, Glenn so the back. did a lovely bowl there to pinch the Jack off of... Um, so from where I'm seeing Robin's bowl may be shot now. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Linda's got a finger up. I don't know which one it is, because... Might be Nola's. Nola's, yeah. 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 Purple. Oh, no, the, um, the orange is a lot closer to this than what the purple is, so... From where that... Um, yeah, just part of the point, pointing so, yeah. at that one, yeah. but yeah. Oh, this one slows oh, down. Brenda's got, Brenda's oh, got the right. The edge. She's got the right bowl. Yeah, yeah, this, this is this, definitely yeah, shot. <laughs> okay. Well, anyhow, the um, um, Patricia's called two down. So you can just see the marker there at the between the seven and the Sunshine Coast District Bowls Association. I must be feel like they must be quite close to the ditch that. Uh, This pull, mm, pretty this good pull, bowl here. Pulls up, it's a pretty good bowl. Not quite. Not a yard oh, short. It might be second. Mm, yard short. I don't know whether Linda's saying one down there, did she? Well, I'm not. <coughs> I'm just watching the Kurtz rink over here. Yeah, Kurtz one a... down on the head. So lead the lead bowl. He's bowled brilliantly all day. The Andina. Yeah, Glenn Ballard. Glenn, oh, yeah. All day. Oh, yeah. Peeled a beautiful one off against Kawana's lead there and just dragged it back. You've been probably the surprise package today, that Oh yeah. No yeah. one. Oh, not surprised. I mean well, as, well, as, I, as I said, the, the they'll, end they'll, in involves boys go pretty well. Like they won their own tournament last week, which is, mm. you know, like it's, a, it's, a, it's a good tournament. Yeah, we'll see how the girls are going to draw into the ditch over here. Grow a leg, Lindy. You're pretty close here if you stop. If you stop. Arrow had a good attempt there. He's probably got second shot. Had a bowl through and then ran up. I can see second. Kurt Charlie in that out if he has a fair crack at it. Just going to depend on the bowls around him now, I think. Yeah, that tight hand. Oh, that's all over. Yeah. Oh, just not quite there. I'm, I'm watching that again. Yeah. Rick. Yes, Pat just didn't quite get around that ball. What's Linda got here? How's the weight? That's going to be the. Well, she's going to roll that thing. blue ball up the way she's going. Not enough oh. weight. Not enough weight to roll. Yeah, good line. She just needed that little bit more. So you can't quite see it, but there's a, a the dark blue bowl of Brenda there is behind, well, was behind the number seven there. Right. So well, that, we need that a straight here or a kick up. Oh. oh, I'll tell you what, it's got to be close to the dish. It can't be that far away. Yeah, there's a I mean, they were bowl behind the seven yeah, there. Yeah, but they were talking about these bowls a metre short, like... Hmm. I think it's only the one. Yep. Just one, yeah. yeah. 
Clue was probably second. That last bowl's cut pretty the front one's out. Oh, well, I think it might have been yeah. um, Joy's bowl. The blue speckle one. Right, the Clounder girls over there against uh, the Glasshouse girls. Still two shots down on the board, but definitely holding shot on the on the um, head with the pink bowl. Well, well, Kurt's done a good job there. Oh well, yeah, he made three. One. He's only home one. I can't see another. Another Who's got run. the green bowls over there? That's their Dirks bowls, their Kiwanis. Their Kiwanis. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're Dirk, Dirk. The blue bowls, the closest one is... Um, the yeah, blue or the brown, but yeah. yeah. He's giving a show. He's giving a show. Oh. Tell us a story. Sorry, got an undertale. Okay. <laughs> the Caro just sort of said they got two over there. So. You tell me a story. Okay. This looks like a better ball. Oh, Sorry? What's the time now? Oh, yeah, the, the way the game's three, going, yeah. Four o'clock? We've been talking about that game a bit, and the Clounder girls are hanging mm. right in there. Just starting to slow down gone. a bit by the looks of it. I think they're holding shot. That, that pink bowl is um, Carol's. And who's the dark, the maroon bowl? No, the last duck of on front. Liz, I think. Liz, that's Liz's. So they might have two shots there. Yeah. Which could make it very even. Again, that was a nice pole there by Anita. Debbie's just yeah. going under the line a bit. Righto, so Nola's, Nola's fallen off the perch here. Could we see a bit of a change? Yes. Five ends to go. Right, as the Clounder girls are going to pull a couple of shots out, maybe three. So it's at least a tied game at the moment, I think. Oh, that was a... Probably the worst bowl Robin's put down today. Oh, what are we doing? Debbie's drawn a brilliant bowl there. Oh, yeah. Brilliant bowl. Debbie from... Dallas. Two down, yep. Lovely bowl. Yeah, they're back to even at Twatnoose uh, Twat from Mumbai in the ladies. 21 all, all. yeah. Game on there. I didn't see any fingers they put up then over there in the um, last year. Just, just playing the 18th end now, so that'll be three ends to the side, a winner. Looks like Club Marucci have pretty much got their game in hand. The um, I think the Calambert Glasshouse girls. Oh, that's in the ladies. Oh, I reckon it's it's eleven all. It's eleven all, all, there, all there for the Glasshouse and the Calandra Waves girls. Twenty-one all with the Wombai and Twat Noosa girls. Uh, I think the Kiwana girls are pretty safe here at 23-6. And we get across, get across to the men, and Coolum has still got a five-shot five lead, I think, there. Yeah. Um, over Glasshouse. And it's Bucky to get out of the way. We can see the next one. Twat Noose is 29-15 up over Manball. Oh, no. 19-13 19, 19, this game, Palmwood. So Palmwood's are down 19-13 to Pelican, I'd say. Yep. Is that right? I think so, yeah. And the Kiwana game, well, they were... It's 19 all. 19 all still, so nothing's changed well, there. Thrown, I'm not sure what happened last end. I think that well, still yeah, has to go uh, up on the scoreboard. Yeah. But they're all on around the 17th end, so four to go. 
Looks like Dirt, Dirk Horton's got a couple of pretty handy bowls over there. He's probably, he could have two shots, he could be one down, but it's, um, he's got a couple of handy ones around the head and the, uh, the um, a couple of lead from there. Yandina's right, on, right amongst their money again. Jeff Harrison's just gone through a touch. May well count too, I don't know. No. So look at this head back here, the um, the blue balls rolled in for shot probably, maybe. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a great ball. Um, it's hard to say. I think you still got to... The girls all had a look, but no one said, yeah, I'm not sure that's ours sort of thing on the way or... past. No, that'd be... Um, Debbie and... Um, Nola Witten's balls, wouldn't it? No, it was the purple. Oh, no, 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 no. The, no, blue, the um, blue bowl and Debbie's bowl. I'm not sure. She's a light purple, yeah. The dark purple's um, Anita, so she's got one sitting there waiting to get tapped up too. How much is this going to come back? She's reached anyway. Yeah, if she can still... No, we up. Mm -hmm. Another one in the head. This is weight, so obviously Kawana is still holding shot going by the weight played here. Fair track. Yes, it's just gonna oh, what's oh, gonna oh, do with that, that one that? though. That's her own, I think. Yep. Ooh, that one. So she hit up Joy's ball, so that's Oh, Got to be a little bit careful. Oh, no pressure, pretty much. Go, no pressure. Go, hands, go the ditch. He doesn't want to give him a number. Do no, go the ditch. You get, you get two balls in the head. Yeah, they both go out though. <laughs> She's not too far away, you know. Oh, gee, that's a close ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. oh that's brilliant, Linda. Brilliant. Brilliant. Hey, is that shot of the day? <laughs> oh. I was looking at our um, social say, I was say shot of the day, but it was pretty well executed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen much better than that for the day. Well, I haven't got... I, have, I, I, how, I how worked on that graphic? graphic last week and the first time I've had the chance to use it. <laughs> it's all gold, you see it? I was, I was going to did, did, did you no, see I it? No, I didn't see it. No, I'm watching, see? watching live. See, look at that. How's that for artwork? I was going to call the butcher's team chop of the day. Chop of the day. <laughs> Yeah, so that was a yeah. One more. A great conversion there by Linda. She was talking the other day. She's looking to get new bowls. So, I don't know. She's so going to keep those pink ones going. I think. Just, just looking at this. This should be the last end. There's four ends to go. Oh, that no, actually, Commander have got a shot in there or two. You nearly call it quits. This. 16 shots, so it's oh, pretty... There's a, 16 another great to, drive there by... Um, 16 to 28. Took one sitting right on the kitty up. Looks like they're calling it quits now. Well, the mathematics aren't real good for um, Headland. Headland girls. 20, I think it's pretty... 22 shots if you get the score up to date. No, no. And they can get a possible 24. Yeah. No. No, they get a possible 32, so it's game on. <laughs> One more end, girls. Well, it'll be minimum. Three, three ends. Three ends, 24. The 21 beyond. Because they haven't turned that last one yeah, over. Yeah, there's going to be at least one more in, unless they can eat this in. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we'll... Um, We'll sneak across after this end probably and have, have a bit, bit of a look at the um, Caloundra um, Glasshouse game. Give those girls a bit of airplay. Do you think Wayne, you can handle it? Get across yeah, to the Caloundra game after this, after this end though, mate. 
Give the girls the respect they deserve. Well, there's the two games there that are very tight. Well, yeah, you can go either. You can get, get both of them in together. Yeah, you get, get a view of both of them. We can team talk four teams here, Al. Yeah. 19 23 second one. We've got that four shot break now with uh, in the men with um, two ends to play. So. He's got number one shot, yeah, so. Who was Dave filling in for? Jimmy Fields. Jimmy Fields, yeah, he's here today, so. Yeah, he mustn't have been feeling quite up to it. I don't know whether you're allowed to pull out unless you're in the hospital, are you? I don't know, yeah. I was thinking about that when you said that. Well, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't think you're supposed to be not at the green, aren't you, when you... When you um, when you're not playing, not at the club. Anyhow, there must be a significant reason. I played with Jimmy. I've played with Jimmy for a lot of years, and uh, he hasn't been well of in recent times. Well, Jimmy, yeah, in recent years, he's really struggled on the long end, so that could have been a bit of a factor today. <laughs> I think Jimmy came in about 98. 98, yeah, yeah I think. Which is, yeah, 98, which is going back um, last century. These days, it's good to good to see people who are still loyal to their clubs. And it's getting what, a harder and harder thing, I think, these days. What are you trying to say, Al? Oh, it's just, yeah. <laughs> people I think do even even jobs nowadays. People you know, do nobody shift. Nobody will get long service soon. Right? People do shift around for different reasons, and oh, uh, yeah. well, even work like people don't work in the same area. Certainly don't see uh, as many life members coming across the board as many clubs in the days. Well, yeah, it depends on the criteria. I saw a few soft ones come out here over the years. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't say just here, just on the on the coast. That's to me, like it's... Oh, here's a good bowl. Lovely bowl. Ah, uh, Brenda's... She's nearly confirmed the last end here, but yes. there's still a few bowls to come. Looking across, that's a brilliant Tawantan bowl. He's just coming to the head with Tara's. So they're probably holding the shot at the moment or two. Oh, good effort there. From Joy. I think Brenda's just saying there that, wow, I've got the shot. <laughs> She's happy with that. She'd be happy with herself. I, I, was, yes. pretty, I was pretty pleased with my last bowl today too. <laughs> oh. Uh, you think, oh, Skip, could Skip only it? remembers the last bowl of the day. Yeah, no, there's no selection criteria here, <laughs> mate. <laughs> it's always good when you put them back in the bag and they've still got but chalk saw, on them. Yeah, but it's all the, yeah, but it's all the other ones that didn't happen before <laughs> that, Al. Oh, you, you had to rub them off, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, a bit of clapping going on over here. What are they clapping for? 
Oh, Wentz. Dave, Dave Rickson's bowls, but he's still sitting on the jack there. Yeah. Whoa, oh, oh, he's got a move there. Straight, straight to Harrow's bowl. Yeah. Straight to Harrow's bowl. He's Is that happy. more than one? Harrow's pretty happy about it, so I think... Uh, I just see a hand on the head there. Yeah, maybe... Maybe Dirk's ball might be in contention too, but it's pretty a, a pretty good win for a uh, pretty good result for uh, yes, two for, for Kiwana, yeah. So that's nearly uh, that's going to be twenty five nineteen. So that's nearly going to that's game set and nearly match, well, but yeah, one end to go. Yeah, and then you got seven the first end. Why not get seven yep. the last? So Rochi needs to pull one out of the bag here too. I think she's um, as far as we're looking at the um, one boy lady side here, and yeah. I, I'm pretty sure there are a couple of bowls down on the head, like a couple of Tara's bowls maybe. So mm -hmm. at a score of 21-22 um, with the one in there front. Are a couple down, yeah. Yeah, with with the one in front. Uh, yeah, Rochi's got to pull a good one out of the bag. Linda's amongst the bowls here. She's got a beauty. Yeah. Pull her up and all. Oh, not quite. Oh, just fell out. He gave it a decent chance. Pat, it's not an easy road into there for Pat. Just a bit over, oh, the, bit over the money. Yeah. Pretty good line, but just... Two or three minutes over. So that's got to be uh, the girls. I think they really one, should yeah. shake hands because two shots to Kawana puts them at 28 six up, um, two ends to play. Not um, yeah, they're shaking hands. Now. Yep, well done, girls. So this could be an important bowl on the green next door, like you see. Roachy sort of starting to line up. I reckon she's probably two down at least. Getting over to the uh, the men's. Nico's about shot over there. Nambour are gone. So Nambour are gone against Twanton boys. So Twanton boys are through. Uh, next door we've got uh, Pelican Waters and Palmwoods. Palmwoods. I think Pelican were in front and they're still four in front. But there's, there's still three ends to go on yeah, the board. still... Kwana look like they've probably got the measure of Yandu now because five or six up with last end. Is yeah, they've not, got that uh, two then on the last end. And so. I think Coolum are over the line too. So yes. you've nearly got your, um, your semi final. One game that's One game there. in contention, yep. For the semi finalists over there. And we'll keep out, we'll keep talking about that because I think, like I say, the other three are pretty much over the line. So we'll keep a good eye on. So in the ladies. Well, Kawana's good eye through. On. We'll, keep, we'll keep a good eye on that, uh, the, the Pelican Waters guys. Um, Club Marucci look like they're through, but the other two are very close. A bit of excitement over here, because I think the Calandra girls, who were pretty close, um, Skip Liz has um, just nailed the beauty. This. That's not a bad little straightener. Anyhow, Liz has got another bowl. They've got a bowl who's come to skips on the clown rink, so I don't know who's got second and third. But I'd imagine Liz should be playing her backhand. Oh, right here, right hander. Internet. She's playing a playing a forehand by the look of it. So it must be a bit ugly looking up the backhand there from, from that direction. That is her back here. <laughs> she gets, yeah, down, she gets, she gets down, down here, she's good. Oh, oh. oh. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's one, one finger down, the Glasshouse girls have said. Yep. Must be close to two. So, Tawanton win the other game here. The girls, um, Tawanton, two shots up with how many hands Oh, unlucky there for. Jeanette Morrow, she's just two tried to drag the kitty and she's just touched it over to the other ball. But Taunton, two shots up with, is this two ends to go up and back? I think so, yeah. Can't quite see. 
Calandra got a shot over there, so going by the board, the Calandra girls are one shot up. Still a few ends to go. Yeah, so they've got a few ends to go. They still. must have had a few dead ends, the girls. No, it's only, so this is the 20th end there for Wombai and Taunton Lusa. They might have had a few measures. So 13. So Calandra girls are two ends up. They've updated the scoreboard two ends. So yep. that's um, 17 ends gone. Calandra 13. 11. Glasshouse 11. Four ends to go. And um, I think the. Um, on the 19th end, it's Taunton really, Lusa 23 and one by 21. I really think they might put the bowls in the bag after this end over there, too. Oh, there's. A couple of great bowls there from the Taunton. Oh, no, that was Karen Jensen. She's drawn a bowl, I think. She's got second shot anyway. They sort of need to get shot there. Well, there's a good start there from... Good start there from Liz Taylor. Yeah, it looked, over, it looked over a bit today, and Liz's bowls have been uh, quite handy mm. most of the day. Someone, someone should have taken that little um, pivot pivot screw out of her um, arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't work for us. Ask Tom about <laughs> that. I had a little tear in my eye when he said he'd uh, lost his screw. <laughs> <laughs> He said you'd lost it years ago, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a good buy by Tara, too. Oh, no, yeah. So it's going to be hard from to get two, but. Yes, but uh, one shot's very handy at the stage well, when you're two front. up, one to two go. Up, one to go. Mumbai really needs to get something on the end. Here we go, got the weight. Oh. Not a bad bowl, Clancy. Salah had the perfect weight, just yep. didn't quite get, grab the line. Got the wrong bowl. By about half a bowl. Yeah. And yeah, loose roads, you can see the jack when she yep. gets down there. Yes, whether they're going to go to the back there to protect a bit. That will be interesting. So Glasshouse just dropped a shot there. Oh, no, that's sorry, that's Yanduna dropped a shot, so they're all over. They're shaking hands, so the Kwana boys are through. Yep. But that was a great effort from Yandina. Yeah. Not often that you can uh, make Kurt Brown shake in his boots there for a bit. No, occasionally. Occasionally it <laughs> Oh, look what's happened here. Might be two now. Clancy's come down with a bit of weight. They opened it up a bit. White, blue, Tara, it's Tara and the, and the uh, Taunton lead. Well done, Linda. Yeah, congratulations, Linda. Good luck tomorrow. No good luck, good bowls. We'll, we'll have to test that uh, red cordial you've got there out. <laughs> I believe the drug squad do come around Kiwana a bit as it <laughs> goes on here. But no, not for bowlers, but uh, yeah. yeah. Got to keep their eye on things. Rochi's playing weights and she probably yeah, needs the jack one. clean. Down you get Rochi. No. Wrong side of the bowl. Yeah. Other side of the bowl she was in. Punch one right through the middle of it there. It's got another Ooh, one left. Who's that? That's the glass house bowl. Probably Kalam's got a finger down, so glass house has turned it around and made shot then. Ran to that shot bowl of um, the the Kalanda lead losers and um, Yeah, loose tones. 
the old sit and sew. She's yeah. tapping it. She's happy. Not going to get down. Oh. The glass house has got one there. What the... Oh, she's... She's moved it. Yep. Rochi? Dead. Uh, oh, it's just oh, a bag the of lady's foot, foot, foot was in the dead. way. But it was dead, dead anyway. anyway. That's all right. That's a good result. A very good yep. result. Still in the when, game. When you're two down, two down on the head, one in to go after this, yep. it's a pretty good result. Yeah, so what's, who's up there? Glasshouse or it's thirteen eleven. I'm not sure who's up. Calandra Glasshouse. Uh, Calandra were up. So they're thirteen, but then yeah. Cal uh, Glass Glasshouse have got this shot at the moment. Yes. With the skips to go, so they can get keep it at only one there. I don't know whether Greenie's still hanging in there or not. Over there at the um, Farmers Boys. He's playing weight, so he's obviously down. Yep. Oh, look at that hip go. Oh, he's, well, he's moved got everything. Oh, yeah. but it's kind uh, of one of the Kalanda the orange bowl. I think they're one down. I think it might be a pelican bowl, is it? Donnie's scratching his head. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know they haven't got any um, jewel colour bowls in Palmwood's team. Oh, no. So that looks like one of Tony's bowls. Well, Tony's, is, Tony's on the mat. It's the same colour as the bowl behind the jack. So. Hmm. Oh, his is the one a bit further over. He's an orangey blue bit in the middle. And the it's right, it's just behind the jack. So. And possibly shot. Yeah, I'd say they've got shot. I'm looking in real life, not uh, screen. So. Yeah, that one's Tony's over there. He's only playing soft play. No, Tony's the one beyond the jacket. Well, Andrew girls, there's a bit of excitement in the camp. Well, I think Liz might have uh, moved the jack back because that's the uh, the other Liz bowl. Um, yeah, Liz Taylor taken out and Liz. I think that's. Um, no, I think that's one shot. Maybe two shots, actually. Well, they're putting the bowls in the bag anyway. Oh, no, no. Which game? Over in the Marucci one. Oh, that should have been. probably should have gone. Yeah. I think they're only bowling back for the fun of it. Oh, he's a. Oh, Miss Muscar. So what's it? One Just shot. the one. One shot only. Righty, yeah. Still game on. That's so 14 11. 11 on 18 inch. So yeah. three inch to go. Three shots. Not a bad scenario. Looks like um, 15 21, I think. Uh, yeah, one by look like they got two shots. I here. think the Palmwoods boys are in the deep end. 15 21, yeah. Well done, Dirk. Two ends to go. Well done, Jimmy Fields. Yes. You try to look intelligent. A few words from you. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it could be game on here too. As one boy got just, two, two shots at the moment. No, the only team to drop a seven for the day, and they still won. Well done, boys. Yeah. Harrow appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it going to be three? All right. Yeah, one boy got two there. Uh, the, um, the pelican, the pelican bowl over there is. Um, which game are you on, Wayne? The pelican, the pelican leads nailed two shots over Donny. Yes. So Donny has to lift his game on this bowl. You're not too far away. Well, he's going to be short again. Oh, that leg's done. That leg's done. Right. Oh, Clancy's could have made it three. Calandra girls over here are clapping their leads shot first shot, which yep. is uh, nice on the on, nailed the jack. Clancy, so so one more two shots down, uh, two inches to go. So 
And they got two shots so on the head. They, yeah, so they'd be pretty happy about that. They need to hold them this, this end. No, Tara's not too far away, yeah? Hasn't been far away all day, Tara. Look at this. Jack back. It's all straight across to her bowl. That's a big change two up, isn't it? Two shots around in the white mate, yeah. Two shots two up. Shots. Two shots down and two shots up. Come on, Clancy. Yep, she's got it away well. Not sure whether it's going to turn a bit. Hit, hit it. Nothing. Had, had weight on it. Right. Fair bit of support there. So the Kalandalu just put another pretty good bowl in. That's what that. I think they've got the crowd there. They've got a few extras in. That's probably they've got probably the biggest. Um, Fair bit of lookers for the day. They're big drinkers at Calandra. Oh, they've come out of the <laughs> TAB and they're just all, all hands on deck. <laughs> oh, got one. Oh, we've oh. got two. Hi, Jeanette. Hello, Jeanette. <laughs> Well, Jeanette's probably wondering what it's doing there because I just moved it over from rink seven to rink eight. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a camera. It's a camera. Woo. Oh, there's a pink bolt coming in. Oh, it's going through. And that's the advantage of um, well, having good. a wireless system. Big, big bowl there from Rochi. Very big bowl. Get down to that green, you need to, Roach. Not quite under it. Has she got another one, or is that it? She's got no, another, another one. Okay. But they're probably three down. That's right. She needs to have a big bowl. Really needs to chip it. That'll be short. Rachi's not a good play under that. Get the jack really to get. Like you're not going to get around that, Rachi. Get up it. Can set the bowl and lean on the jack and kick it outside. Yeah, you get the jack or use the bowl. It's, it's, there's not much else going. Sorry, Rachi. Come on, Rachi. I think she's down. She's down. She's not far away, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. One out. Oh, bad luck, Rachi. Great try. Probably second shot, which is. Um, Good results considering she got through. Oh, yuck, they've taken out two, so that makes it very hard one end to go being four down. And Tara looks like she's standing firm, she wants a third. <laughs> yep, yep. She's convinced her. Give in or else. Fancy was trying to figure a way of. Only making it two. Oh, Clancy, but... she'll get no service out there in the future. <laughs> yep, no drinks for you. One month. <laughs> well, there's a bit of a runner over there, a bit of a touch on the jack too from... Um... Who is that from the glass here, Skip? Ron Jen just asking if it's on That's Malco. YouTube as well. It is on YouTube as well. On Bowls Promo TV. So well, uh, pretty happy much with the telecast. But pretty I'm much happy. finished, except for the Calandra Glasshouse game. Now I think, really, Mumbai going to have a hard time picking up five shots, six shots to win. So you guys out there, start hitting the love button if you love what we've done today here. Wayne's put on a pretty good show. Start those stars flying on the screen here. We'll talk about your pot hole, Pete. We've given you a bit of good coverage for the day. <laughs> yeah, bring up that sponsorship dollars, Pete. Come on. Don't waste it on the feed for the horses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the cameras just set up for a bet each way. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah, I think it would be the... The Calandra girls are going to be the... 
A couple of special words from Debbie Dalson here. Led, played second pretty well all day today. What do you think, Deb? Oh, what are your very tomorrow? excited. It's going to be tough, but we'll be out there trying our best. Sleep well tonight. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Bad luck you can't play sevens tomorrow, girl. <laughs> yeah, I had a few comments about that. Yeah, it's an un unfortunate clash of uh, clash of the codes, let's say. The sevens finals run tomorrow, and yep. they couldn't change that. So when you're playing two good tight teams, we'll do... Um, yeah, unfortunate. Can she get a sub or do they just have to pull out? Oh, I think it's a sub, yeah. Oh, okay. sub the but, um, but they didn't have too many people qualified because you play with the same team all year and it's not over that many weeks, so it's very hard to qualify substitutes. Okay. And there's a couple, they've got a couple of players missing out of the uh, Kiwana 7 side tomorrow because with, with the men getting through, uh, that makes Dirk unavailable for the um, yeah. 7 side as well. So. That was just my sign that fell over. <laughs> it was a flat landing. Rightio, green balls again. The green balls have been pretty handy yeah, the last two or three years. Yeah, so it's going to be hard for Wombai. I mean, they're uh, probably two down and they've only got one good ball on the head. Mm. Karen sort of dropped short a bit. It's a bit hard to make a six out of that. It's a bit like our last in. We're just having trouble making a six yeah. when the went up front. Well, you, you can't make it if you've got two short bowls there, that's for sure. Glasshouse lady having a bit of a run into the head, so she must be down. Oh, what's happened there? Yeah, they're looking hard. Oh. Oh, I reckon Cloundra like a couple of shots at the moment. Could be two or three by the looks of it. Yeah, well, the next couple of pinkies, and they're all Cloundras. Two. But Cloundra definitely got two shots. Yeah. Could be three. Two and a look. Well, that's pretty good going in that end end with... Um, they're two up already. I'm not on the sure board. How, what, what the story was when she drove into that, but yeah, it was, didn't quite work out her way, I don't think. Taking more out. There's another one. So I'd say uh, Calandra are going to go through on that one. Well, no, there's still three ends to go. Three ends to go. Like, yeah, you can't discount anything. No, no. They're in the box seat. I've got to say so. Got the crowd on their side. <laughs> We're turning. Here's the fourth thing, isn't it? Look out. Well, they've got three. Who's are they? They're greenies. Greenies. They're, um, Palmwoods, three at least. Another so white, could, another white could, one still in the um, in the equation. Yeah. So well, if they get not. four, that only puts them two behind. Yeah, game on. With two in, no, one end to go. One end to go, yeah. Yeah, that's probably looking like. Three shots over here to um, to Watton at the moment, which makes it very hard for Roaches. He need, really needs to kill this and have another crack at it. Yeah. He hasn't played kill weight, so. One's not going to do him much good. No. Which is a little bit short there, too. Probably got in the road of the kill in the way. Takes the scoreboard done. Oh, they've updated the board. 17-21 still. They're still four down last in. This is uh, Palmer's men versus Pelican men. So if you're listening, Sandman? If the scoreboard's right, I mean, the fact that it's got 20 ends up on it. Yeah, yeah, they flipped it over. I think... Uh, they must have only got two then. Tony think. must have gone back and done that. Roach has got weight this time. Look, okay, Roach has had a fair crack this time, but... Uh, mm -hmm. No. Big. All over. Kill or nothing, yep. All over, so the Twatton girls are through. So Kiwana girls, Twatton girls. I don't know. 
the way the draw goes, so the, the Twilton Bills are going to front up against uh, Kiwana tomorrow. And the Marucci girls are going to front up against the winner of Glass House and Waves. Hmm. Land Waves. And then the men, Coolum will probably play Kiwana. Yes. And Helica in the box seat to play against Twanton Noosa. Twanton Noosa. Here comes Wake. So there'll be two Twanton teams in at this stage. Yeah, they're doing well. Oh, she's got a top for there. But... Yeah, she's... No, the red still got the shot. Oh, I don't know. No, I'd say, I'd say the back ball shot. Back ball shot. So this is back and up. Two ends to go. Oh. I've only got that scoreboard right. That's, they've rolled it out to 11-18. Yeah. So the Calandra must have picked up a significant amount there. So Calandra's seven shots up with two ends to play. Did they get a five or something? I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Five over two he must have anyway. Missed a, must have missed a few fingers on her hand when she put her fingers up a minute ago, Al. But it was over two ends, I don't know. Giddy up. Oh, so easy to pull up three foot short, isn't it? Yep. Probably getting tougher at the moment too. So. Mm. Just getting to that time of day. So Greeny's pulled a short in over there to try yeah, to yeah, change yeah. things up, like give himself a sporting chance of killing it, I suppose, or I'm not sure if he hasn't it. got the numbers. Can't quite see the jack. I think it's next to Donnie's two balls. Good. Donnie's got the tee there. He's giving him a good chance, Donny. Okay. Here's Berra. Oh, no, that's not Berra. That's the other. No, that's no, a bit shorter. It's a Berra's good. a shorter ball. Congratulations to Wanton Girls. Has Barry made it in there? Oh no, he's short again. <laughs> Sounded like someone was throwing their bowls away. <laughs> Easily done. <laughs> So you're saying the ones that are on the screen, which is Palmwoods, they need two or three? Uh, they're four, uh, four behind. They're four behind. Uh, and they've only got two. Mm. You need five to win, four to have the next round. This one looks like it's going to go in there somewhere and make it tougher. Coolum looks like they've, um, they've ended up winning. Yeah, it's well and truly. Oh, yes. they, they had a good lead and never dropped it at all, so. Yeah, it was good to see uh, Glasshouse with a couple of the younger boys there. They, uh, Very good. <laughs> They'll use that as experience. So Tony Green's got two. It looks like it's hard to get five, even four. Never under underestimate the green man. No. Big ball for Blazer. No, slipped there. She's um, good skips ball. I think they were maybe. 
no, oh, the money one up, one down there, and uh, she's dragged it back for two. I'm just going to switch it back over to Tony Green because he's needs the needs, needs to the make some magic. Here it comes. Missed everything. Nice back ball, Tony. He was using a little bit of weight there. I think he had to. Oh, yeah. Was he hoping to split that one? Well, Tony hasn't played at all. No. no not too bad, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. They've got, no. they've got three, four, and five. Hmm. So the final glass house bowl over in the ladies here, and Calandra holding two shots. Tony's let this go. He's glass looking. house skip needs to roll her own ball up to Not stay the in the ball. game. Same way. <coughs> so Palmer. And has. Oh, and laid down for shot. She set one of the shot bowls, I think, and laid down for shot. That's one, two, two. three, four. Wow. Well, that's going to bring it back. Wow. Five. Game on. She's made 15, uh, four shots on there. So it's, yes, 15, 18. Three. Another four. Three shots, uh, last end. Well, let's see what sort of pressure they can put on. Yep, so Pelican are through in the others in the men's. So the Mountain Girls have come to town, they're going to give themselves a chance here. So with the rest of the results, Travel, you might just uh, line up who's in the um, who's in the playoffs tomorrow to the men's. So the final four will be Kirtland versus Kawana in the first semi-final. The other semi-final will be Pelican Waters versus Tawantan Noosa. They'll both be played at um, Kawana here from 9 o'clock in the morning, weather permitting, and they'll still be playing weather not permitting. Diana Mason says she's been enjoying their coverage, You're doing a great job. And you have been doing a great job, guys. Thank you very much for that. You've been listening to Ray Whitaker and Alan Sandico, and my name's Wayne Netta. And we'll be back in the morning uh, doing the coverage on Rink 7, running east-west. And just to finalise the ladies, and we probably can't at the moment, but Kiwana will be playing Tawantan in the first semi-final. Tawantan Noosa, first semi-final here tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And the Marucha Beach girls will be playing the winner of this game. Um, all I can say at the moment is Kalandra is three shots in front of uh, Glasshouse, but Glasshouse got four shots last in, so game on. And this is the last end, and Glasshouse yeah. have got the first two shots on the board. They've got one at least. Yeah, I'm not sure about the second. <coughs> is that the same as your list? That's just come from the umpire. Yep, so we've got... Yeah. So, we Andre, know, we Andre know Buck going Coolum on. against Kurt Brown Kawana. Tony Carter Pelican against Rob Briglia Twatton Noosa.
All right, so Carol Burrows on the mat now, stepping up with the pink arm and the pink bowl. She's been pretty consistent all day, Carol. Oh, whoops, that's a hole, a big hole. Another glass house bowl in the um, in the head. Ray Farrell's bowl there. Oh, well, no, he shouldn't say old to that because it was way too heavy. We need uh, Calandra needed a bowl in the head then. Another glass house bowl on the head, sneaking through, starting to build. Could be game on. And now on bowl just pulls up a little short, needs another yard. So Joanne's up to the mat. She's got a bit better weight this time. Maybe. Yeah, it's getting there. Getting there. Under back one. door, back door is yeah. a pretty good bowl. Very good, though. It is not, it won't be shot, but it's probably one down. That's pretty good when you were four down before. Yeah. So four balls to come. We've got Liz and Nolene lining up. Uh, Liz has got the first bowl. And her shot is, from where we're standing, is to sit that blue bowl and stay. So she'll have to play her, uh, she's a right-hander. No, she's got three hands. We'll play with the arm. <laughs> <laughs> so she is a right-hander. So she's got to play, she should be playing her backhand, if she can see that. Uh, the, the, the purple ball in front might be a slight in a way, but it's got to be helpful to play that I hand. I think that might be one of, is that one of their balls? It is one of theirs, I think. But so she could sort of play through she, that she really, tap it up? Or? She really needs to sit the blue, though. To, mm. They need four shots, so. Yeah, she, like you're saying, she's going back in. Not letting go. Just a bit quick. Not yeah, letting just go. not going to let go. And everyone that plays a few bowls on that hand on the screen knows that you can't be too wide because they do not let go. They're yeah, very weight dependent, isn't it? Very much so. So Liz has got a fair weight here. Into the head. Another bowl on the head's pretty good for Liz, I'd say. Get around that one and she's good. Oh, not quite, not but too bad, though. won't hurt her too much. Yep, this is the big bowl of uh, Nolene's. Oh, Anakin. Go Skywalker. Well, she's going to get something happening here, whether yeah. it's good or bad, but she oh. didn't touch that bowl. She's good. Great effort. I don't know whether Liz should be bowling this bowl. She's got shot. Think about this, Liz. You've got the game. You've got one bowl in your hand. Why on earth would you think about playing? Yeah, Here's me, Liz. Where's your, Where's your coach, Liz? Yeah. 
Come on, you girls. There must be 45 coaches on the bank. Pull her out of this. <laughs> the only way you can lose the game now is to play the bowl. And now she's played a very safe bowl, I think. And she's, she's yep. complaining because she didn't get up. <laughs> dear, dear. Well done to the Clounder girls. They're through. And they're worrying about measuring. You know? <laughs> really trying to get shot. You won down, so what? You won the game. No percentage involved in these games. Two's not going to help. Three's not going to help. And Calandra have got four shots. Can you believe that? <laughs> yes, yeah, so Calandra have stuck four fingers up. They've got four shots, so they've got a percentage boosting win. Was that four, was it? Well, she stuck four fingers up, so we'll have to yeah. take a word for it, unless she was just waving. Anyhow, so the Clowder girls are going through to play the um, Marucci girls in the morning. Rain, hail or shine. And uh, this is me tuning out. Yeah, 22.15, I think. Well, thank you very much, Ray. I hope all of the viewers have enjoyed their coverage today. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, good two games. If you can't get down here, get onto the Bolts Promo TV on your smart TV and give us a few comments. Okay, that's been the second round of the Champion of Champions on the Sunshine Coast. We're at the Club Kiwana. The coverage today has been brought to you by an offshoot of my company, which is bowlspromogear.com.au. And on that site, you'll see a collection of stuff we've done for bowls clubs over the last 25 years. So thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe as best as you can. Enjoy your bowls and maybe we'll meet at your...